Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Brickadista Broadcast Network. And hello, this is Pandy Panda. <laughs> hello and welcome. <laughs> so anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in to the Brickanista Broadcast Network. I'm Naomi, your host, the Brickanista, and it's my birthday today. And for those of you who were here last night, right at midnight, it was absolutely amazing. And this is our new little mascot, Pandy Panda, as a plush that thank you, Matthew Builds Bricks, for the gift. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. And as I mentioned in uh, my Instagram post, that today is a special day because I've got two special guests with me today. So I've got Aubrey Kovach, who is with her daughter, Mandy. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. <laughs> and Lena's poking around the corner there, I think. Kind of. And where's Willow? Is Willow with you? No, she's upstairs. She's in the other room. Okay. <laughs> yep, in the living room. Oh, okay. And then we have Alexander 23Z, also known as Alexander Dennis. So Hi. welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. And I'm the Brickanista. I, I should have updated this. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I had to go to the post office today and it was crazy. The traffic was just nuts. So I am sorry that we are a few minutes late, but this is a bonus stream. So this is a bonus. And I wanted to thank Aubrey too. She's one of my Patreon members, thank you for your support. And I know Alexander23 has also supported me on Twitch. So both of you have always been so supportive and so kind. So I, I'm really thrilled to have you here. And we have lots of fun today. <laughs> so today, our plan is we are going to build Everyone is Awesome. <laughs> so Aubrey has it as well. And then Alexander, I know you probably don't have it yet because I think you ordered it. And uh, so you can provide commentary while we're, while we're building. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry, uh, but before we get started, I should have you introduce yourselves. So Alexander23, why don't you uh, tell everybody a little bit about who you are and what you do? Um, well, my name is Alexander23Z. Um, I'm from North Carolina on the east coast there aren't really a lot of us east coasters i noticed a lot of the eight ball community is mostly majorly in oregon washington state uh california colorado i've noticed it's really heavy on or in canada too it's really really mm -hmm. heavy in that side west coast mm -hmm. so you know um i actually started my a fall deal only about less than about a year and some change mm -hmm. now so I've only, I'm, I'm, what, I'm what I call like one of the bronze agers after <laughs> you know, Lego masters, Lego seasons, master, ugh, Lego master season one happened and it right. woke up a lot of people that it had did. been sleeping. It definitely did. And uh, as you know, that we're on YouTube right now and there's several YouTubers now who are streaming Lego content and you stream also on Instagram, right? And Twitch. Yeah. I majorly do um instagram right now because i don't have a desktop yet once mm -hmm. i get a desktop or a laptop that'll really put me to the next stage of doing <laughs> like youtube and stuff right um i i like instagram because it's easy just push the button and just let it roll mm -hmm. kind of right well i'm if if nobody is following you yet make sure you follow alexander 23z on instagram he has a lot of really cool videos, and in a, a little later in the show, I wanted him to share with us his secrets for sorting, <laughs> because you are a sorting machine. I mean, he goes through like 50, uh, or I'm sorry, 50, 50 pounds of Lego in what, a day or two? It's crazy. I mean, you, you are a sorting machine. <laughs> in a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I know uh, me and my wife, we sat down on paper and calculated every bulk order I bought. And we came to over a thousand pounds mm -hmm. and that's not including the last bulk that I just got, which I think was another 150 pounds or so. Right. It, was, it was a lot of weight. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you here. And I just realized I need to get the chat going. So 
Uh, thank you. And um, in the meantime, we'll have Aubrey introduce herself. So if you're in the chat, if I haven't been acknowledging you, my apologies. I'm getting it. I'm getting it ready now. So, so Aubrey, uh, welcome. And how about if you share with our audience who you are and. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm Aubrey. Um, I am sort of West Coast. I'm in Utah, so not not quite the coast, but not quite far east as Alex. Um, yeah, I've been into Lego for a really long time, but we were less involved in the April community and more involved into like building and going to Legoland. <laughs> Um, so when everything shut down and we couldn't go to Legoland anymore, um, we kind of found the A-Fall community and that was really fun. Um, That's how we all met through Tricky Bricks, who, yeah. by the way, are here. So Zach Martinez is here. Cowboy Kenobi is here. We have BFAB is here. Pinwheel GBC is here. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody yet? Great. Um, I think. Uh, Brigadier Itchy Sheep. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yay. Hey, everybody. So, so we all met, the three of us met through Tricky Bricks. And for those of you who are not following Tricky Bricks, Tricky Bricks is the combination of Richard Board and Flynn DeMarco, who were on Lego Masters Season 1. They're best known for the clock man that they built from the half- a challenge where they took a half of a clock and then they they made a person out of it and it was amazing and they won that challenge so sorry spoiler alert but that was season one so if you haven't watched it by now just go back and watch it it's great and gow grasshop is here hello and he says hello to both of you as well so but uh, so we're going to be working on that everyone is awesome set. But before we get started, Aubrey and I both got our boxes from Bricks by the Bay. And I'm pretty sure we're allowed to open them on camera. But if you're worried and you don't want a spoiler, look away, look away right now. <laughs> Come back in about five or 10 minutes because we're going to open this box and talk about what goodies are inside and i know that uh if you haven't signed up yet i think today is the deadline to actually be able to register to get your con in a box and i think oh my goodness yeah i'm kind of excited to see what i get in the box so like okay. I'm, you I'm don't need to look to away <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really intrigued because I'm one of those people. I like to see what the investment was put into. Oh, so okay. like, mm. All right. All right. I'm going to get this box out of the way. Some, some cool things, which you usually see in a con box. And I'm going to leave us in this format, I, unless people want me to zoom in on this. But already, Bricks by the Bay Magnet. This is That's a heavy cool. magnet, too. So yeah, that's going right on my refrigerator. Oh, there's two in there. Is that why it's heavy? <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so, mine were like slightly separated. So. Oh, okay. Mine were not. So that's why I was like, that's a heavy magnet. It's so you get fun. two, you get two of these. So in fact, what I may do, I do have some giveaways today. So I think I'm going to set one of these aside and put it along with uh, one of the giveaways that we're going to do later in the program. Con in the box sounds like a scam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. Now here are a few things that you cannot open. So this is the seed part challenge. It says do not open. So if you are going to get the box, I can tell you just feeling it, there's some bulky parts in there. Maybe, I don't know, three cone like objects, three cones. Okay. And maybe, ooh, that one's interesting. It's funny well, it's I was feeling because I was feeling those bags today. I just, <laughs> I just got a seed part challenge in um, Canada, and this kind of feels like the same seed part, which is the paint rollers. They kind mm -hmm. of feel like paint rollers to me. Yeah, maybe. So they could be paint rollers and cones, maybe. <laughs> so. Almost feels like a key. 
Yeah, it could be a key paint roller. We'll, we'll find out that the con is Hi. next week, I think. So no, two weeks. It's Father's Day weekend, which I know some of you won't be able to make. But uh, OK, so we got that. And looks like we got. And this is something you uh, typically get when you go to a con. So if, if you haven't gotten one of these before, Alexander Dennis, that um, you will like this because there's usually a torso that's in there. And this torso is for this particular con. That's and cool. Then, and then it has on the back, it has the bricks by the bay symbol on there. Okay. So usually what they do is they tell you to make like your sig fig using this torso. Okay. For one of the challenges slash activities. Now this is cool. These are the badges. I talked about this the other day that we have badges here. So yeah, I've heard about badges. We I've don't seen need no stinking got, badges. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people where they got badges like for days and I'm yeah. like, oh my goodness. So it's a one by eight and it says Bricks by the Bay on one side and then the official recognized AFOL event. I okay. really like this one. Yours is different from mine. Well, I, think I have I a green one too. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, you should have that too. Adventure awaits. Yeah. So this is the theme. So there's a couple. I think what happened is this might have been from last year because oh, yeah. I, I went to last year's and that one was Vision 2020. And then mm -hmm. Adventure Awaits is the current theme. So yeah, you're right, Aubrey. If, if you registered for just this year, then you'll get the Adventure Awaits one. Fabu Fan MKE is here and Brick Literacy. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are opening our... And so you notice that I have the 2021 and then, so I, I got four because I had registered last year and they didn't send them out. So, yeah. so this is what you'll get for your con box if this is your very first show. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is all new to me. So this is like, this is like wild because I've never even seen, like I sit there and I'm like, man, I was like, this is like those little bat, those little those little um, baggies that they give out at little mm -hmm. events and stuff. And I'm like, okay, this is like the cooler one, but with Lego. Yeah. This one's, <laughs> I mean, it's very cool what they have here. And so this one is kind of a, a variety, but I think it has to do with, this is what I heard. Okay, look away if you, if you don't want spoilers. Whoops. But it's the cable car. So there's a cable car with instructions. Oh, that's cool. It's, really it's like nice. a micro modular. Yeah, it's a little modular. Okay. And it comes with, you know, all the parts. And this is usually what they call, I think, the con model. So this okay. con model, and it says Bricks by the Bay 2021. So you see that there's a, a little um, plate in here, which is printed. So this is fun. Now, have you been to cons before, um, Aubrey? Have you gotten things like this? Um, I've been to them virtually. I haven't been to one in person yet, but I am for sure going to Brick Slopes here in Utah in August. Right. And hopefully we'll be able to get to um, a few more in person soon. I was wondering what Brick Slopes was. So I heard somebody on uh, Facebook making a reference about Brick Slopes. And I was like, what is that? Because, you know, I'm like, yeah. I'm, I live under a rock. So when I hear these <laughs> names, I'm like, what are they talking about? But I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, Brick Literacy, he's, he's saying he was on the fence about these kits, but then he got the one for Bricks LA and it was extremely worth it. And I like the Bricks LA one. It was good. Yeah, that was a great one too. And so if you haven't registered yet, it's, I think today is the deadline. It's either today or tomorrow if you want to get the box before the con starts. So definitely look look for that. Okay, so what's next? I think, I think if you're it, not in California, it was kind of expensive for shipping. The box itself right. wasn't very expensive, but I think the shipping might have been more than the box. I don't remember. So this is, and thank you. Uh, thank you for the birthday wishes, everybody. Sorry, I, was, I had to catch up on the chat. Now, there's some interesting parts in here. I wonder if they're the same. Did you get these little green splat gears? 
Yeah. And these it like opalescent gold. globes. Yes. Oh, those are the pieces from the um, bracelets that they had, the Dots bracelets. Uh, it's the one with the galaxy. It's the black band, I think. They had those little opalescent little... Oh, well, um, these are huge. Though. Look at look at how big these are. Yeah, this is like a globe. Like the... Um, oh, that's yeah. huge. These are yeah. huge. So, like, this is a dot, <laughs> and then this is the globe. Yeah. Yeah, that globe is huge. <laughs> You get parts stuck in the middle of the globe. <laughs> so there's some some of these wedged in there. But there's coral. There's coral um, in there. And a big one of those big brick separators that come in the art sets. You can kind oh. of see it. Yeah, somebody called it thicky. Yeah, thicky. So, That's right. Thicky. Yeah, yeah you get a thicky right. in here too. Yeah, yeah I, I was working on one of these. So this is great. I was lucky I found one in my last Lego bulk. I was like, what? I was like, I yeah. can't have a Because it's funny because you said in, the exact same. I was like, wow. I, did yours have things stuck to it? Yes. <laughs> actually, someone had eyes. And that's what made me laugh so hard. I was like, really? I was like, some kid already had googly eyes. Or I call them googly eyes. But, you know, the dot eyes. I was like, yeah, the dot eyes. So, that was um, really Cowboy Kenobi says that the globe comes in the new Raya poly bag. Yeah, it does. And we have a couple printed Lego. Um, looks like inverse two by two tiles. So those are those are cool. Do either of y'all have any of the new Raya set? No, no I haven't gotten that yet. So I like those globes though. I'm on the line with it a little bit. I want to get the palace because those big domes they have. Mm -hmm. I think they're like the teal colored ones. They're just, mm -hmm. I have so many white ones, but those teal ones with the special printing on them, I'm like, man, y'all are. I cool. think they're shaped slightly differently too. Yeah, they oh, have they like, like the, they're like mega mushroom style. Yeah. They're, they're really nice. 14 colors of flowers, according to Brickworm. Yeah. Um, oh, and um, yes, and these are glow in the dark. dark. The one by twos. Oh, These one by twos are glow in the dark. Nice. There's a few cool. And we have rainbow. Since we are in the rainbow challenge, we've got this rainbow one by one tile. So, this is awesome. You're buying the box by the bay for fifteen dollars from the store. What? No, no, no. You don't go to the store. You have to. Um, you have to go online. <laughs> or are you talking about the online store? Yeah, you have to actually buy a ticket and the $15 box, and you get all of that in there. So it's $20 total, because you can't get the box without getting the ticket. So the printed tile from the Lego Ideas piano. Oh, is that what that's from? This is from the piano? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And you yeah, probably really remember cool. that that is the, uh, one of the sets that I would buy if I had you know disposable income. <laughs> so just, you could. How yeah. much are they? No. How much are they? Yeah, how much is the piano? Yeah, 350. 350. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's but you know, Debo said he'd buy the Coliseum. So yeah. That thing would have to dance for me to buy that, that much money into it. So GOW Grasshopper says there's 66 boxes left. So if you haven't registered yet, you gotta do, do it. it if you want to get it in time. <gasps> Oh, I was looking for one of these. Okay. An American oh, wow. flag, one by two tile. That's really cool. All right. I'm setting this one aside <laughs> because this, I'm trying to remember what the mock was that I, I was going to put that on. Is so, space related? Might have been. I do have a few of those because I have the Saturn. Well, I remember yeah, we were prices. talking about it on my channel. Yep, there's another one that um, maybe it was for the Memorial Day mock mm. or something. Yeah, it might have been Memorial Day because I, I made that wreath. And I think we were talking about how do we do red, white, and blue. M who knows? It's all a blur. But so these and these are the glow in the dark ones, right? These one by twos. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. These globes are amazing. Though I am annoyed that things are wedged in there. So <laughs> you're going oh, yeah. have to get them wedged out. That's the mental note. If you do this, these should have been in a separate bag. 
Yeah. And then you wouldn't have had this, but Don't that's put okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I, I'm just saying that in the future, if you're going to stuff these bags, something to think about. Okay. So Brick Literacy says, dang, I might have to get it now. <laughs> if you want yeah, it in time for the con, Brick Literacy, you got, if you go on the website, I think it's today or tomorrow is the deadline. Oh, and speaking of deadlines, since Brickworm is here, if you want to put in your six by six quilt square, today is the deadline for that. So I know she's still taking mm -hmm. submissions and I do have one for you, Brickworm, trying to see if it's close by, but if it isn't, oh, here it is. <laughs> and I'll tell, I'll tell you, Brickworm, I built this on stream and it's the first time I've used some stickers for the bottom. And I, I do need to clean it up in Photoshop a little bit, but I may be doing a few more, but anyway, we, we built this on stream and that's supposed to be waves hitting a rock. <laughs> and that's like the sunset with some clouds. So anyway, all right, cool. All right, so I think we've done that. The last thing that you get in here, which is super cool, which will be fun to see. This is very similar to what they did in Brick Can. Is everybody gets oh, which some get? CMF. Mine is Batman. Oh okay. my God, wouldn't it be cool if I got a Batman? That's perfect for you. That's perfect for me. What well, I think, were you there when I opened the one from Brick Can and mm -hmm. I got the pirate, the Captain Pirate? So if this is a Batman, you know that the universe is speaking. I get really lucky with booster packs. Like, I, know I don't know lucky. why. This Except is video. series two. Video I, video I do not get lucky with. Oh, is that right? Me either. I have like four of this one, three of this one, two mm -hmm. of this one. Like, but I still have like five left I'm missing. Oh, Cornito, I'm jealous. I love the Ninjago. Oh, I think nice. this one will fit me though. I've been feeling it. Oh, I'm pretty know. sure. I think it's the Flower Girl. So let's see. Oh, okay. And what series is yours? 18. 18. Okay. Okay. So we're going to open our minifigs. <laughs> see what we got. Well, so I've been pulling stuff out of this new bolt. Like, uh -huh. look at all this new stuff I've been finding. Oh, oh, you've got one of the ducks too. Yeah. Oh, so um, Brigadier Itchy Sheep wants your um, CMF pack. Okay. All right. I'm not, haven't looked at it yet, but just looking at the front. It would be awesome if I got the Robin. It would be awesome if I got the Batman or the Harley Quinn. I mean, those are kind of the ones that I'm, I'm, I'm cheering for, but I'll be happy with whatever I get. Harley Quinn would be amazing. Harley Quinn right. would be amazing. But if, if it's Batman or Robin, oh, I've got a dolphin. It's a Batman. It's a Batman with a dolphin. <laughs> oh, and you did get the flower girl. Yep. Yeah, you you know your Lego. Okay, so Brickworm says she needs Donald, so I think she may be reaching out to you. I got a dolphin, and I think I got the scuba Batman. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you got the one with him with, like, the... Oh, the I got the one with him and the six-pack. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now you can make a Thunderman. So I can make a Thunderman now. Well, you know I love Batman, and Brickanista you know, has been dating Batman. So <laughs> now I get to see Batman with his six pack and his Speedo. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. He's got I'm a Speedo. <laughs> oh, which one is that? Mr. It's Freeze. It's a Victor Freeze. That's oh. actually awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I think this is Lifeguard Batman. So Robin Eklund, I'm hearing Twilight Zone music. Well, yeah. I have to say, didn't I say right before I opened it, I said it, it's probably a Batman because you know how yep. much I love Batman. So, and to get a Batman in a Speedo on my birthday Perfect. with a dolphin too. That's pretty freaking hilarious. That is dope, yo. It's dope. <laughs> Funny you said that and I pull it back. Exactly. Now this is interesting. I guess this is, oh, this is what the lifeguards use to go out to save people, right? That little red 
you know, the red flotation device, like yeah. you always think about with um, <laughs> so I got Batman as a lifeguard and yeah, he's got a dolphin. Oh, look at that. Did you know this? That the the stands have the Batman logo? I didn't know yeah. that for the yeah, some of them do. Yeah, uh, some of them, like for uh, those specific ones they did. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Alexander, you get the best bulk find deals, according to Brigadier. Really, you really do. Yeah. I got a Quirrell, and then I got a McGonagall. Like, <laughs> I'm pulling some wild mess tonight. Oh, I got a Goofy, too. So I know I have a train Aww. set somewhere oh, in this. Oh, the mess. train set. That would be cool. So I know some of my went. favorite pieces I've gotten were the trans uh -huh. orange sharks. Oh, yeah, with, with the eyes. I actually I have three of canoe. these now. I have three of them. Oh, I've never nice. owned one in my life until I got this tote. And I was like, <laughs> really? I think we have one. So this this got, is amazing. I got so, some of these I'm really excited about. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's Ashwing's wing, I think. Oh, those so are the, nice. The blue one is the water dragon. I think the green one is Ashwing, which is the dragon that I'm on the look for. I cannot find Ashwing. What, the blue one? No, the green one. So the green one, there is there is another green dragon that I have, um, but there's the Goblin King's dragon, which is Ashwing. Mm -hmm. Can't find that yeah, one. I've been learning about the elves. It's a really interesting, like, the whole, like, I was like, whoa. I was like, their they're, they're story is a lot easier to understand than Ninjago. Ninjago is like. <laughs> it's not quite. Over. Try Bionicle. Try yeah. understanding the bionicle theme. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a big leap. So lots of really cool stuff in all of the uh, bags. So definitely, if you haven't registered yet, you got to register because it is a very, very cool little swag bag. I mean, just the CMF alone. I do. I, mean, I have another one. but it's You have a husband. second one. It's my husband's. And I'm like, do I open it to see the CMF that's in it? <laughs> I would ask. Would you be mad? I I would text him. <laughs> text okay. him. He said he he said he might watch. He's at work, so text me. Oh, if you're watching. Text <laughs> if me you're if watching this. <laughs> yeah. Give her yeah. Let her let her open it. Let her open it. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So I imagine if it's anything like brick can, they're gonna have us make some sort of story using the cmf so you know since i got batman in a speedo <laughs> i'm gonna have to have some beach scene yeah with put him on the beach. and brickanista so it's just a fact <laughs> it's a fact jack <laughs> so. you might have to do like a mock where like your ship is like shipwrecked on like one of the rocks oh. and you're trying to get out there oh, to go i could get the pirate thing going yeah okay. That <clears throat> is amazing. <laughs> and Robin Eklund was saying earlier, it's like Twilight Zone music, because when I opened my CMF for Brick Can, it was the pirate. And I, I kind of had the same response, right? <laughs> when I opened it, it's like, oh my God. But I would never have expected to get a Batman with a six pack on the beach. <laughs> so... All, all good. another series 18. Oh, so he said it was okay. He said it's okay. Me. He's in the chat. Oh, he's in the chat. Okay. Right. Oh, there he is. Hey, Cole. How's it going? <laughs> I'm going to turn this off for a second so I can feel this bag and see if okay. I can guess so you don't no hear it. No worries. Like so, um, in addition to the magnets, you also get a smaller bricks by the bay. I think this is a sticker. So, you also get the sticker. So, a sticker, two magnets a CMF, seed part challenge, uh, the, the instructions for the little um, cable car, and just kind of a variety pack of parts. So yeah, for $15 for that, I think it's a, it's a deal. <laughs> Do <go>. it. <laughs> <clears throat> so everybody's like anxiously awaiting to see what you got there. Okay, I think it's, it'll be perfect for the stream, I think. Oh. But I can't tell which one it is. There's two of them in this series. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh, my my B fell off of the BBN. Let me see if I can find it. So for those of you who missed it, this is Pandy Panda from the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network, but one of his bees are missing. Oh no. Oh no, the bee fell off. I'm gonna look for that. If not, we'll, we'll have to do some surgery. I'm sure it's gotta be around. It's gotta be close by. Be down. Be down. <laughs> yeah, but he... he okay, um, we just don't have a cat or dog that's gonna try and eat it for it being on oh. the floor. <laughs> no. No, and, and speaking of Batman, we also have Batman coins too that he sent to me. So that's cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, cute. I didn't know this one came with it. So you probably won't be able to see it because my camera. Let me see if open. I can let me see if I can spotlight you too. My camera doesn't autofocus, but this is a little tile of a CMF bag. Oh, neat. And it that's came with cool. two of them because it is the little birthday boy. I couldn't oh, tell it's if the it was birthday boy. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was a little girl that comes with. I think she has like a little party hat and pigtails. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's on the front right here. Couldn't tell if it was this girl right here. Oh, they're the same. Um, they just have. But you got the birthday hat. <laughs> little present. Oh, that's cool. Happy birthday! Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's awesome. <laughs> so we have now the um, the bag, the box was open. I was wondering if Debo has arrived, if Debo's here, because Debo sent me a, pa a package, a little envelope, and I was gonna open it, but I was gonna wait until he's on the stream. So maybe what I'll do is I'll wait to see if he shows up in a little bit. But uh, why, don't we, why don't we do some prizes? Since we were talking about bricks by the bay, <clears throat> bless you. And let me put this on gallery mode so everybody can see us. All right. So I had mentioned that I wanted to bundle one of the, the magnets. And I thought I set it aside, but I'm going to put it out right now. So, yeah, here they are. All right. So I'm going to bundle a magnet with a couple poly bags. He's here? Debo's here? Oh, there he is. He just came in. Yay. Okay, Debo's in the house. Okay. So now let me open Debo's gift and then we'll do we'll do a uh, we will do a prize drawing. So thank you, Debo. Debo sent me this little envelope here. So welcome to the stream. Is, is the hidden side. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm missing on the chat here, sorry. But this is this is very, very cool. I think okay. while I chill here, I think I want to build this. I've been kind of sitting on it for oh, a while. Oh, yeah, you should build it. You should build that one. Yeah, I've been, I mean, if you saw how many sets I'm sitting on, you'd be like, really? I mean, I just see them on clearance and I'm like, I can't help it. So this is from Debo. Brickanista, happy birthday, Debo, <laughs> which is interesting because he used his real name on the outside of the envelope. <laughs> Gotta keep it professional. <laughs> Hello. So thank you, Debo. Let me see if there's anything on the back. Okay. So, oh, I don't think I've seen these before. Let's see. I think Debo is going to be one of the people I really look forward to actually meeting in person at a convention because I'm probably going to like die laughing because <laughs> I think I know, like Debo like honestly like your videos and stuff you were like the most hilarious person I've ever come across like in video streaming but you're like down to earth that's what makes you so yeah. awesome is that you're just you know you're just you and it's Nora too. So this is I think. Is this a custom minifig company? I think. I think it is. It looks like one. All right. I think he sent me his sig fig. I think this is a Debo sig fig. That's, a, that's, that's my cool. guess. It's my guess. We'll see. It says hello. <laughs> and he sent me panda tiles. 
<laughs> this is great. <laughs> he knows that I love these panda tiles. Thank you so much, Debo. And this, I believe, is introducing R2 Debo. <laughs> This is R2 Debo. Oh my gosh. So he's going to go along with Cowboy Kenobi, who's over here. Cowboy Kenobi. Is, I've never Cowboy seen Kenobi. this. Like, you haven't I feel seen like Cowboy I Kenobi? Okay. No, I'm living under a rock. Right. You've I'm been telling you. Under a rock. Here's Cowboy Kenobi. What? Let me, uh, let me spotlight <laughs> this, for everybody. Oops. I got to do this with one hand over here. Spotlight. Okay. So oh my goodness. Cowboy Kenobi. So uh, <laughs> Cornado sent this to me a while ago. And then R2 Debo <laughs> is now, now joining the group. So uh, for those of you who are new to the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network, we started naming each other Star Wars names. And so Cowboy Kenobi, R2 Debo, and I had Brick Rainista here. Here she is. So this is kind of like the, the ongoing uh, <laughs> connection of Star Wars characters. <laughs> so, so you yeah, thank no, you. That's so pretty much. awesome. This is great. And like I said, um, and the reason why it started here, let me take this spotlight off, is that when I was streaming, uh, Cornado would keep saying, "Trust in the brick, Brickanista," <laughs> because. I would maybe um, be working on a set and I couldn't find a piece. And I kept saying, why is it not here? And he goes, trust in the brick. It's in there. Trust in the brick. I think I remember him saying that on Barracuda Bay quite a few times. I while think, so. I think <laughs> trust in the brick. So we need to come up with a sticker probably that says trust in the brick. And then it's dope, yo. So I've been thinking about how to do that. So thank you. Thank you so much. So. I've been I've been keeping Cowboy Kenobi and some of my other minifigs on here, so we will add R two Debo, which is great. Now R two Debo, just I want to ask you, um, Debo, are there connection points onto studs here? Because they look like they're right now they're with pins, so I think he's supposed to roll. Is that my is that right? Is that right? Brigadier Itchy Sheep, <laughs> very carefully. Okay, well, I'll, I'll set him set him here for now. R R two R two uh, Debo. Actually, I think I have to turn this this way, like this. Is that right, Debo? <laughs> is that that's that's how R two Debo goes? This is amazing. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him in between Brick Brick Anista and Brick Rainista and Cowboy Kenobi. So there we go. <laughs> this is great. You have an idea, Joel? You'll send pics. Okay. It's a hover roller. Okay. Okay. So I think I think I have it the right orientation. So thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And thank you too for the panda tiles, because he knows I I've been putting panda tiles as like an Easter egg in some of my builds. So thank you. And like I said, I try to keep I try to keep the family close by. <laughs> so if, if people want to join, in fact, we were talking about um, Aubrey was talking about wanting to hang out in Fantasy Town. So I think all you have to do is send Cornado um, a sig fig, and he'll put you in Fantasy Town. <laughs> so. It's for I everybody. Send one. I'll send one to you soon, Corey. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so I think, is it time for me to spin the wheel? Let me see if I can yeah, wheel. get this. <laughs> There's so many things to think about. I might have one of you read the names off to me so that I could put them in the wheel. So thank you, Remy, by the way, for telling me about the wheelofnames.com because the wheel of names.com will, and some of, some of the people who were here last night are probably on here already. Cause mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Robin Eklund, I need to add you. And then we have Debo's already here. Cowboy Kenobi, I need to add you. <laughs> Cowboy Cornado. Let's see. Um, I think Brigadier Itchy Sheep is here. 
which <laughs> does a brigadier is that in the navy i don't know i don't know all of the uh terminology here okay so we have let's see who else is here Deneen, i think was here I've got Deneen on the list. G-O-W, Grasshop is on the list. Is Matthew Bilt's Bricks here? I don't think so. I think it's too late. Um, is Glenn here? Let's see. Trying to do this multitasking. Okay. You get Robin. Uh, yes. Here, let me share my screen and you can see all the names that I have on the list here. Because I don't think Glenn is here and I don't think... Ellen is here, but I'm, I only have six names, but it says there's 15 people. So if you want to be in the drawing, you got to type in the chat. Okay, so let me share my screen. Oops. All right. This is why when I'm working, I have like somebody just doing Zoom master stuff. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen now. There's gotta be more people than this. There's um, Fabi Fan MKE was here, right? Is he still here? Still here, Jason? I think, and then Cole, right? <laughs> Can He's you see this me. list? Here, let me put Fabi Fan MKE on here. And then Cole. Hard to keep in the chat when you have to keep your hands sanitized <laughs> with gloves on. Here, I'll put I'll put the two of you in too, Aubrey and Alexander. We can win prizes on your birthday. Uh, not me, but you can. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Yep, he's here. Okay. All right, so I think that is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's not too bad. There might be five lurkers out there. That's okay. Okay, so let me tell you, what is the prize? What is the prize? I've got a couple things. So let's see. Let's start with, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bundle. So you're gonna get one of these Bricks by the Bay magnets and you're gonna get a Marvel, Captain Marvel and Nick Fury poly bag and another poly bag. I think we're gonna give this one too. The, it just says building toy. <laughs> so, so it's funny when they do that. So we got two poly bags and the magnet. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> Just Adam, I'm sure he's somewhere. Yeah, well, we, we got him. I think we got everybody. Am I missing anybody? I think we got everybody. I think you got okay. everybody. Are we ready? Okay, we're gonna spin that wheel. That wheel. Spin that wheel. <laughs> and <laughs> it's gonna be Alexander 23. <laughs> Yay. Do me a favor. Yeah. Spin it, spin it again and let somebody else get it. I already have enough Lego for like every <laughs> the universe. I'm being dead serious. Like I feel really, really oh, generous. All right. Today. Well, we could do this. Why don't we do this? We'll say that the next one, it's the same prize, but it's sponsored by Alexander23. <laughs> That's fine. So, okay. All right. So we're going to do this again. All right. Ready? Because, you know, we're going to talk a little bit more about Alexander23. I think you've been through it. A hundred pounds or so of Lego. A thousand. Thousand. Thousands. And oh that's not God. including the sets and all that. Oh, good, Deneen. <laughs> okay, good. So Who's she all? probably she probably has this magnet already, but <laughs> you can always do this as a giveaway because I know she's doing some work with um, Patty, so you can maybe use that as a prize for for some of the things that you're doing. Oh, okay. yeah, they're always awesome. All right, we'll, we'll do another prize in a little bit. So congratulations, Deneen. I can hand deliver this to her, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is great. Okay, so maybe we should start building. And then at a, the appropriate time, we'll do another giveaway. So 
How many pieces is it? It's 141, I think. We this one? Get. Yeah. This one's 346. 346. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. It's bigger than I thought. So. Yeah, that's why when you said 140, I was like, what? I, I, I think like, I was thinking yeah. about, um, what did I build recently? It was the birthday cake. I built yeah, the I was birthday say, it had to be that, that really was cool. That was only 146 pieces. So anyway, if you haven't seen this set yet, what rock have you been under? <laughs> this set has been promoted and uh, it's just amazing to just looking at the box too. I don't know if you noticed this, but the everyone is awesome also has that gradient scale of the colors going across too. I'm debating on getting two of them because is that really awesome? Like on a serious most, level. I mean, most it's people amazing. have been getting two. I think that um, for most people I've talked to, like Aubrey got two, right? Because she wants one for a display, and I think the other for parts. Well, I want one for a, I want one for the set, and then I want one I want to take for a mock because I want to do something like Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, and try and build a translucent oh. prism building into it. I think it would be really really neat if I could figure a way to do it and use some translucent different colors to blend at that angle to hit it. But I'd, it's going to take some work to try and figure it out. I have to moto it a little bit. Dark side of the moon is a great idea. So first note, there's no numbered bags in this, as far as I can tell. I hope not. There's no it'd numbered be, bags. Be like one or two. No, they're not numbered at all. Wow. That's got to be nice. But I think Alexander 23, if I remember right, you're red green colorblind, right? I can't see like reds. I can't see green. Like lime green is like gray to me. Mm -hmm. So, like, the joke is like when I used to play World of Warcraft, everybody would be like, you know, there would be this acid goop stuff on the ground, and everybody would be like, get out of the green goop. And they just see <laughs> that thing in there. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? They're like, they're like, Alex, get out of it. And I'm like, oh, okay. You're talking about <laughs> that. They're like, yeah. So what they had to do is they had to make a macro for me. They would literally, if they saw a trigger of my health losing because of that effect of staying in the goop, it would right. literally scream in chat, Alex, get out of the goop. Alex, get out of the goop. Or, you know, or whatever my, my character was at the time. They had to make macros because they knew being colorblind. It, it's a challenge for any game or any like with Lego. Like you saw how my big, remember how my big beans challenge turned out? Yeah, that was humiliating for me. <laughs> now this is new that they put the instructions in a separate bag. Wow, Normally they don't do that. So that's interesting. I wonder if it was because of the designer himself asked, maybe for or they put enough money into that set to you know get it the bag put into it. I would imagine, depending on who the designer or whatnot, would probably have some benefit, you know, some level of why it would be bagged or why it wouldn't be. I mean, that's just my speculation, but, you know, I would think it would be at least. Um, who was the person who designed this one? Um, this is Matthew Ashton. And this, I'm looking at the chat. Somehow a pirate ship came up. <laughs> I'm looking, I mean, I, I'm looking I and it's like, else, oh, hey, Lena's here. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I could see some of Ashton's work. So, yeah, so people are talking about, yeah, people have been ordering theirs. Theirs hasn't been, hasn't come in yet. And that uh, some people want to build and the other one to jazz up or to change. So, yeah, I think most people are getting two because I think two is the max. They also put a max uh, number that you could put in there. Yeah. So, I wish your teachers were that cool, Fabby Fan MKE. <laughs> I think like the first few days it was like three, but mm -hmm. then it started surging, so they had to limit it down to two. Oh, okay. When so, we went in store, it was one per person, but my daughter came and she <laughs> got one. So here's Matthew Ashton. So they have a nice spread of him talking about the set. So that's really cool. And just reading that's the cool. chat, yeah, I agree that Fabi Fan MKE putting one for you and one in your classroom, that's a great idea. And that's super cool. And it comes with a teal separator. Very cool. Yeah, I love teal separators. It looks like they have you, I think they have you make the minifigs first. 
They do. I'm gonna build them last though. So we're really? gonna we're gonna start building minifigs. I can see um and the hair on some of these, like this one, you can see the hair on her is really cool. Aubrey, when you do your bags, do you always do your minifigs last or is it just because of just this one? Um, yeah, I don't I don't usually get to build my minifigs. So I usually have a small person. Do you have a small person close by? Well, it's uh, just funny because like when I do my sets, I don't ever do my minifigs. I just put them to the side and I'll build my set. And then I always build my minifigs later on because I never really put my minifigs on my sets much. And I don't know why. I've just always liked them kind of being empty a bit. Yeah. I think just in this one, I feel like I would just rather build them last because I've seen it built and mm -hmm. they just sit there until you have the set done. So I think <laughs> at first. They're so. like waiting impatiently saying, when are you going to finish the set? So I have some place to stand. <laughs> One time you actually know the designer actually gets to own the set. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, so a lot of people are saying that the stores, a lot of them had a limit of two that you could have. Now this is where I'm starting to think I might need some sorting trays. I may need to grab something. Only because my my space is really limited here. I was mentioning to somebody about how uh, when when I um, I'm, I'm thinking about starting a new segment called Improv Mox, where you pretty much just tell me a couple of scenarios. It's almost like the seed part challenge but then people get to participate by saying, okay, it's a minifig and it's at the mall and it's doing something. So you have a character, you have an action and you have a location. Mm -hmm. And then you have the audience tell you what to do and then you build it. So I think I'm gonna try that out. I fun. don't know when, but I ran the idea past somebody and they said, yeah, you should do that. Cause you're kind of doing it anyway already. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. So by the way, Brickworm suggested these, these are those seaweed trays. So I'm just trying to get, trying to get these organized, but I wish I had like this huge table where I could set aside everything based on color, which would be nice. So I'm, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm setting aside the minifig pieces as I find them. I'll tell you one thing. I wish I had never looked upon the uh, the Troll series Lego sets because oh. they are so bright and colorful and addictive because of uh -huh. like their music stuff. Right. Because, you know, I'm working on like a video where I'm taking like the Lego Friends music stuff and then the video and I'm mixing it with that. Cause it's going to be like a big old like nightclub scene deal. Cause like me and my brother-in-law were talking about it and I told him, I was like, you know, you, you always see like people do mocks and scenes. I was like, but I want to do one where it's inside of a good size box and have it where, you know, you can have the hanging railings where people walk on and, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that, the steps that go down. So it looks like right. a real, you know, nightclub and everything. And now that I've seen so many tricks from Tricky Bricks about using lighting through like different stuff in the ceiling with translucent, I, it's going to be wild. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. The troll sets are so good for parts packs. They're pretty fun builds too. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, don't say that to RJ Coughlin. <laughs> he hates the trolls line and he hates the, uh, uh, Unikitty. He says they're Why? both. So. You've I mean, I wouldn't. Trolls and video, too. Oh, yeah. The colors of trolls and video are amazing. I, like I still have the only trolls that I have still intact is the Poppy's hot air balloon because I think the hot air balloon mm -hmm. is just ridiculously awesome. So yeah. I had to keep it. But the sad thing is, you know, at the end of the year, then I have to have my new year reclamation where I can only pick like three or four sets and then everything else gets like Thanos snap pretty much and put back <laughs> into the library. Well, 
I think everybody works a little differently, right? And I, I think that um, as long as you enjoy it and you have fun with it, that's, I think, the most important thing. Because I was uh, rushing last night. I was trying to finish the dog, you know, the Logan dog that everybody was using for the Logan cookie time challenge. Yeah. And I got to a point where I said, why am I rushing? Well, you know, I'm rushing for this midnight deadline and I just, I really don't need to do that. There's no need for me. So yeah. that's when I said, okay, just relax, just, just build and enjoy. And yeah, I think we're all here just kind of living vicariously through each other. Right? When, when you get that serious with mm -hmm. Lego, I always tell people, when you get that serious with Lego, you need to sit it down for a second and step back and go, I need to take a break for a minute exactly. and then come back to it. Because, I mean, that's just my view on it. Cause like, right. I mean, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing Lego, but you know, with work and everything like I do, I work 52 hours plus a week. So I don't really yeah. get a lot of time. Like right. I used I'm to do hours. Exactly. Yeah. People were lined up for blocks. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that sign. <laughs> How are you, Lena? It's good to see you. In fact, I need to chat with you because Lena was talking about, I think uh, we were talking about Whidbey Island because I, I may be taking a Brickanista on the move episode over to Whidbey Island. I still have to chat with her about it or with them about it and see, see what we might be able to work out. So I'm just kind of slowly building some minifigs as, as I get the, the parts together. Is this all part of the lighthouse, the little pink dinghy and the uh, yes. little brown seal? The the pink one, the pink dinghy came with the Heart Lake City Lighthouse. Definitely. Okay. All right. You, you are correct there. I've actually come across a lot of dinghies lately. Like, you know, at first <laughs> I only had like... I think I had like maybe two brown. Now mm -hmm. I'm at like red, pink, lavender. I got all kinds of wild colors. I was telling, I was showing my wife one day. She's like, I didn't even know they made them in these colors. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, wait till it gets further in the bulk. And then, you get, then you start really seeing the weird stuff. Well, and, and that's the thing is that um, it's all also interpretation, right? About what people thought like a like some of the lighthouses for example there are so many different lighthouses in the world but they tend to gravitate towards the same type of lighthouse for most of the builds that they do but if well, you look in the world i mean lighthouses come in so many different shapes and colors i mean etc yeah because like if you look right now they just released that three in one set with mm -hmm. the red and white lighthouse one right and then, then you got ones like, you know, the Lego Friends style one where it's on the little pier. And then you have like the hidden side one that just came out not long ago, like the big dark stone gray. I love that one. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, I think I bought three of them. <laughs> it's a good set. I mean, they had it on clearance for like $15. And I was right. like, I can't say no to that. I yeah. just, I saw it and I was like, hmm. Yeah, we were at Target and we picked one up that said it was like five bucks off. And when we rang it up, it was like $23 or something like that. So we're like, go go back and get all of them. Yeah. So Remy, Remy's saying that the Logan challenge hit, hit him uh, the same way as far as uh, that you just had to put it down, right? Because if, it, if it's not enjoyable and it, you got to, you know, tell yourself, why am I doing this, <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. I had I had to do that with um Brick Huntress's um let's build an amusement park because mm -hmm. I got really deep into it, but I got so stressed out and so upset one night. I said, you know, I looked and started laughing and I said, I was like, what am I doing with myself? I was like, I gotta stop. I was like, I'm gonna stop right now. I even I sent a message to her and I said, Look, I said, no, like I really wanted to send a build. I said, but I just I don't have the time when I'm trying to build that and I was thinking I was building a, box, a build for tricky bricks and I was yeah. building a couple other builds and I just told her I was like I'm spread too thin like butter and I should have admitted it before but I was like I can't do this right now. I think all of us kind of are in that boat right where you have to pick and choose your challenges and I think that's also part of the reason why Devo and I when we were talking about the rebrick this challenge 
we just said, you know, we're going to do this once a month because people are stressed out already, right? With all the other challenges that they're doing and that, you know, if they have some free time and they can go ahead and grab a um, box and then just kind of work on the box. And I also like the fact that with the boxes, you can just keep everything contained in the box. And then yeah. when it's contained in the box, then, you know, you just can continue. And whenever you're ready, just, you know, continue with that there. Okay, this is much freedom in the rebrick this challenges too. Right, right. We tried we tried to do that. I hope we did. <laughs> yeah. So well, just anyway. so you know, well, just so you know, Brickanista, yeah. I'm taking this lighthouse and I'm gonna part it out. I'm gonna bag it and I'm gonna send it to you. That's my birthday present to you. Oh, oh my forward. god. No, on a serious level, because I know you were talking about how much you kind of were looking at it. I, I, I was like, you know, I was like. I think she'd really enjoy it. And I don't oh, really need the part. So, that I'm like, is well. so sweet. And I'll get, I'll, hey, I'll probably get two or three more. Like with all the bulk I go through, with all the girl sets and the boy sets that I go through of late, especially Lego Friends, it's frightening right. how much Lego Friends I've gotten in the last couple months. Well, I was mentioning, for those of you who don't know, I was mentioning to um, Alexander23 that I had taken the lighthouse to build that uh, modular. That was my very first modular. And I, I said, you know, yeah, I haven't really, you know, had a, a lighthouse in my city. And I probably should have kept that lighthouse. And so <laughs> that's where that whole conversation came from. So. So that's really sweet. Thank you so much. Well, the good thing is you'll be able to take this one and maybe mash it with the one you had before and make it even even more awesome. So um, Cowboy Kenobi, yes, I was going to mention that. So uh, Cowboy Kenobi said, did you notice that JK Brickworks did a whole mech, a chicken mech on the set that we chose and he put it on Rebrickable and he has it on YouTube as a, uh, not necessarily a challenge, but just as a another another way to use that set so yeah i did see that and i was going to send a note to to debo about it in fact we should probably invite him brown or black cool we should invite him that's what we yep. should do brown or black brickinista oh <gasps> which one black okay For batman all right <laughs> thank you well i was telling alexander 23 and a few others that I'm thinking about building a Batman Viking ship. So Ooh, then it's awesome. Batman, and then I have to make the custom sails so that it's got the black with the yellow. So it would go along with my Spice Pirates ship, but as Batman. So yeah. Yeah, that would be so cool. That, well, that, that I think luck. I'm gonna have to do that. Well, you're in luck, because look what I got right in front of me. I got about that much of the hole. Oh, because I think it's the black pearl. I think it's a full black pearl hole, if I remember correctly. Because I remember I got the wings. Because remember, I was, oh my I was god, the for my um, my big mech figure I showed you, I made a while back. Yeah, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Gosh. Okay, I don't know why I'm I'm missing. I have one of these, but I'm missing a. Uh, I'd rather somebody use it than it sit in my collection and collect dust for another ten years. Because well, on a serious level, I get a ridiculous amount of break. I've, and, I've already got in my mind. Um, if you look at the Escape um, or P Pursuit of the Joker, that Batmobile had these round hubcaps that have pre-printed the Batman logo on it. So those would be like the shields along the side of the Viking ship boat. And Ooh, so let me I look at my Batman know what box. pieces I need to buy. You know, it's it's kind of like it's like building itself in my head. But <laughs> I'm excited about that. Chickens are, are you talking room. about these. <laughs> chicken mech. I got to see that. Yeah, are you it's a about chicken these? mech. And he has a whole video on it. No. So Lena in the in the chat, uh, they're a little different. But it is very similar to that. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I have my. Oh, I have it over here. Hold up. Oh, is it the small, the two by two, like the round disc with the circular backside? It's this one. Came from the Pursuit of the Joker. So I think you might have the same one. 
So yeah, it's like a little. It's like one of those little two by two round yeah, discs. Yours looks smaller. I think this one's a little bigger. Yeah, yours looks bigger than mine. Yeah. Yeah, yours looks like yeah, the full. Mine bigger. looks like a record. That's so what I'm kind of looking if, at. If I get, I don't know, sixteen of these, so you have eight on each side. So I just need to order like twelve more. Now I have the end. No, is that it? Um, it's a little different. It's like a muted yellow. It's not the same yellow. Yours is like a bright yellow. This one's almost like, you see how it's kind of muted? Oh, yellow? okay. Yeah. So, but anyway, I, when I when I first saw these, I said those would be amazing as Viking shields. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, because I got like all these Batman parts that I've been mm -hmm. kind of like amassing since I've been like collecting bulk for a while. Right. Well, I'm missing a two by six, but that shouldn't prevent me from starting on the build. <laughs> the, the build. The build. The build. Yeah. So it looks like, yeah, the one by twos on the back. It is kind of weird though, how they set up the bags. It doesn't seem to have any particular order. <laughs> yeah, I just dumped them all out. You just dumped them all out, yeah. Them all out. I think sorting them probably would have been a good idea, but yes, I, I, and that's why I it's kind of that. like, how does Lego figure out where to put certain certain pieces in certain bags? You know, I have never nulled out pieces ever, but I do take a little Jif peanut butter jar lid and I kind mm -hmm. of put it in the top right corner and put all the little small pieces. Like oh, I call the green yeah. pieces in there to keep yeah. them in, in the place where right. I have my little tray to actually the raise tray so my stuff doesn't roll off the table. Yeah, that's a smart idea. I drop bricks a lot. I do. Well, <laughs> well I build my tray and it actually has like little jumper plates on every other spot. So when you get mm -hmm. minifigs, you yeah. can actually stick them on there. So you know, or anything that's like spare parts, if you want to just put them there. So at the end, you don't have to worry about losing your parts over time. Yeah, yeah that's really smart. smart. I like your tray a lot, Alex. I'm actually about to make a second version of it because I'm actually about to add a little addition to it and make a divided tray. So I could actually put like Technic in one spot and then translucent like the cool parts as I call them, because I'm getting to that point where, you know, I like having trays everywhere, but I like mm -hmm. to have it built into my tray as well. So it'll save time. Because I really try not to get up more than like once every maybe 10 or 15 minutes when I'm sorting. Yeah, that's smart too. <laughs> like, I think I, I get up a lot when I'm, when I'm working, which you like probably, probably isn't the smartest thing. Well, I, I take that back. When I'm working on a set, I'm pretty, pretty solid because you know I usually stream for like two to three hours, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Streaming on a regular basis. And I hope I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the chat too. So it's, it says, so Brigadier Itchy Sheep wants to know, Alexander, where the heck do you find these? How far do you travel to pick up bulk? Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. So... I live in a hill in the middle of a swamp. So I literally <laughs> live in a town of a thousand people that we debate every year whether we're going to keep a post office or not. That's to define how small we are. Um, so I, li I live like about maybe 30 minutes from the state borderline of South Carolina and North Carolina. So there's this really big beach area called Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. It's one of the the bigger, more populated areas. And what happens is a lot of people will rent these condos, these bougie condos, spend three, four thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is they can't pay the rent anymore. So they literally move and they leave a whole bunch of these Lego sets you really? know, on the shelf. So what happens is huh. one of the people will say, I'm going to get rid of all of this sets. Like I'll sell all of the, uh, like at one point they had one in Myrtle beach where it was all of the, uh, the Vader helmet, the, uh, the snow, all the, you know, the helmet pieces like Java, uh, not Java, the Boba Fett helmet and all mm -hmm. those, the snow speeders and all those ones or scout ones. Yeah. He had all of those and a couple of star destroyers and it was only like $200. And I was like, that's really not bad. Cause each of the helmets are $70 a piece. <laughs> The right. Star Destroyer is like two to three hundred. So I mean, and you're only paying two hundred for all of that together. And then usually also they'd have like a twenty gallon bulk on top of that. 
So, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to beat somebody when you have that much bulk to sweeten the pot. Yeah, exactly. Well, and the other thing about you too, is you have this whole method. So one of the things that I learned from Alexander 23 is that he will take his bulk, he'll, he'll wash it. And then he puts them after they're dried into individual one gallon bags. So then yeah. that way it's not as intimidating when you think about sorting, you know, what did you call it? The chaos of, of doom or something like that? Oh, uh, yeah. I made a joke one time because I was like, I call my bags, I have one gallon bags and I call them the bag of chaos. The bags because, of chaos. Um, That's yeah. And then I was like looking because I showed a picture one time to you of like this giant, I think it was like a 33 gallon tote just full mm. of those and it was overflowing and they were laying on the floor. And I was like, yeah, that's like a giant pit of despair right there. A pit of despair. It really is because like you think about how long it would take just a single person of, to go through that, like a normal person, not a person like right. us that, you know, goes hardcore to the wall doing whatever we do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think about all the nights where, you know, my wife was in a coma asleep and I was up till 5 a.m. sorting, watching some obscure sci-fi Right. TV series trying to get through it all. But I know so, one thing, um, I need to get back on my set building though. That's the one thing. Grasshopper asked that purple girl has the pea hive hairdo. Yes, it does. So I've been showing kind of while we were talking the different minifigs. So this little beehive hairdo is amazing in purple. So yeah, yeah I know Flynn said he was really excited about the beehive, the purple yeah, beehive. Yeah, one. definitely. I love this pink hair piece that makes me want to dye my hair pink. Yeah. You know that you know the set's going to make him want to redo his whole Fifi set and make it of even course. more awesome. Yeah. I course. think it would be epic as a mess once he gets to redo it a bit. I'm having a hard time finding my purple one by two. <laughs> it's just like I've been finding tons of lipsticks. How many different colors of lipstick have I'll they made? Right there, so I'll find it. I'll put it oh, in. I don't know. Oh, the, you mean the lipstick pieces that he was using? Yeah, because like I have a red ones, I have pink mm -hmm. ones, I have full white ones, I have I think a couple other colors, but they made a lot of colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely did a lot. <laughs> so what's interesting about this set, because they don't really um, make sense about the bags, the numbering and the colors, you just kind of, you know, set it down based on the, the pattern so you just kind of have to at least that's what i've been doing i don't know what you've been doing uh <laughs> Aubrey, but it's kind of like um okay there's some black in here so i'll put the black down there i just dumped out all the bags on my table and it was just yeah. i don't have that luxury unfortunately <laughs> and that works better for me which is, I'm envious, trust me, I am envious of people who have large desk spaces that have the ability to do that. And I imagine if I got my act together and instead of streaming would actually, you know, sort and, and uh, <laughs> put things together. I, I have been giving myself a goal of doing that though. Aubrey, I gotta say, right now, you are like a building monster. Like, when you told me how fast you built Ninjago City Gardens, I was like, get out of here. I'm like, she's making that up. But that was just seeing you just build that yeah. thing that fast. I'm like, what? Did, did you see her build the um, um, the space shuttle, too? No, I heard on that. Oh, no, I have Discovery's behind it. You can't really see it. You can kind of see the nose right there, but that's Discovery right there. And then Saturn. Yeah, I remember, and then okay. I, yeah, I remember the um, discovery set. But yeah, I when you told me how fast uh, I think it was like you and your husband built it, yeah. I was like, my God! I was like, that is so fast. It took <laughs> me like days and day, like little, day, like pure days of just working. Right. I think I worked one day. I worked eight or nine hours because I think uh, um, Naomi found me one night on twitch and i was like zonking out like i don't I was know like going to... are you okay <laughs> yeah i went through 13 bags because you was, you and Debo both were building ninjago city gardens like on a marathon and i was just like going you guys you know pace yourselves <laughs> it's okay i got 
lost in the city gardens. Like that was just such a fun build. We did it in two cities, but yeah, my husband did help. So. Yeah. Um, I know with mine, um, I didn't think it would ever be done. I got about halfway was when I got really burned out. Mm -hmm. I actually had to quit for about four days. I went and watched Doctor Who for about four days because I was like, Mm -hmm. I can't touch Lego right now. Because all the, (laughs) because I've (laughs) never really. It's a good escapism show. That's, that's awesome. I've never really built vignettes before. And Mm -hmm. this, that set is like pure mini vignette, like top on top on top on top. And when you're not used to building it, and like me, it's kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. I was just so burned out by it in the end. I was like, I don't want anyone to touch Lego right now. So, so G.O.W. Grasshopper is saying, uh, Brick Anissa has like 10 bricks on hers and Aubrey is done. That's super fast. <laughs> well, I still have minifigs and I'm not hosting. I don't have to talk as much. Well, and, and I will say just to kind of defend myself too, that I don't, I don't have a good organization system. I'm sure if I did, it would be better. So. My but organization system is just grasshopper for pointing out my, uh, my, fa- my faults. <laughs> yeah, Aubrey looks like speed chaos, like how yeah. I do it. I literally just dump it out there and just move all the big parts to one side, medium one, small, and I just go with it. Right. Exactly. There's nothing worse in life when you think that Legos gypped you out of a piece. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you probably noticed too that, see, I still can't find the purple. Yeah, look, see, she's got it done. Look at that. I know, that's crazy. So you should start your own channel, then people people can get things done faster. I love what you said. There's somebody else too. Five minutes. they, they were watching my stream too. And it was so funny because it was like, like I said, I'm, I'm a slow builder, right? <laughs> and uh, I think it was Doc Sampson who had been my guest and he was like done. And I still had like another 40 minutes to go. So. Yeah, Aubrey, uh, if you ever do one, you should make like a video series of you just speed building stuff. I know, she's amazing. Like literally you put a start timer and put it in like the top left corner. And then, like, from the moment you literally punch the holes or when you slit the top, that's when the timer stops. And you start and you say, that's the speed build. And you try and get see how many people can actually build faster than right. you want. Right. Exactly. Well, I'm sure there are so many people that can build faster than me. I know, but it's just interesting, though. Well, it's kind of like always playing against other people in Pong. You're just like, who, who's really, you know, everybody's really good at the game, but it's always interesting to see who makes it the highest. So. All right, so now that you've finished the build, what would you say you think is the best part of the build? Um, I think it's all pretty simple and clever. I really like Mm -hmm. how it's put together. And I know that quite a few people have talked about the, because looking at it like this, um, Mm -hmm. a lot of people have put these minifigs in a different shape, which I do like, but I see why they put them in this order, because when you Mm -hmm. turn it side yeah it's nice when you be able to see it artistically Um, that's true i see why they put them in this tidy order that they did yeah instead of because from the front i really like the like v shape that i've seen people do or other things but i think as a 360 model putting it this way Mm -hmm. was really smart well, I think to Matthew Ashton, I think he had a prototype in his office for a long time and that people said, you know, you need to make that into, you know, a model. So I think that that his his stature in the organization also makes makes a huge difference. Yeah. You, know, you know, when you say that, Brickanista, it makes me think about those. You know, I wonder how many people have a mock out there that could become the next creative set but they just have not ever published it because you know like people like me that were like I call us like closet builders where you know I was building but I really never t- shared anything publicly mm-hmm. I was I mean I was kind of in, not embarrassed but I just I felt like I built like a kindergartner like the old like 1980s you know like basic bricks like I mean we didn't even have slopes barely when I quit building I mean we just were getting antenna dishes and stuff so I thought we were actually kind of ahead of our time and then 
when I got to see all of what's happened in the last 16 years, I'm like, good mm-hmm. grief. <laughs> well, I, I think, um, you know, when you think about just, it, it goes back to Matthew Ashton being what the vice president of, of um, design and being a person of the LGBTQ community, he has the power and he's with a company who actually embraces that. I think that's huge too. Yeah. Being able to do that. I'm really, I'm really glad to see that like companies like Lego and them are finally mm-hmm. embracing change and they're not trying to be stuck in, you know, the before times. Like I'm glad that they're finally taking the step towards the new age. And it's something that, you know, I've seen a lot of companies resist it on a high mm-hmm. level, but I'm glad to see Lego kind of just took their foot through the door and was like, we're going to do this and we're going to see what happens. And I'm, yeah. I'm really proud of them for it, for doing it. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because some people have said that they've gotten backlash from it, you know, from, from making this kind of statement, but it's yeah. kind of like, if you don't want the set, just don't buy the set. You know, nobody's exactly. forcing you to buy the set. So if you don't like it, then just don't buy it. <laughs> you know, it's not like Lego is saying you have to do something. Yep. So anyway, well, um, I want to make sure that Aubrey doesn't feel like she's just hanging out. <laughs> so, just did you have out. some other things you wanted to build too? Or <laughs> I can, let's see, how, how long have I been streaming now? An hour and a half. Okay, so let me... Let me just set a few of these more down and then we'll, we'll chat some more. No, you keep building. <laughs> you just keep building. I'm a slow builder. So. I like hanging out. Okay. Well, we can just hang out then. In fact, maybe one of you can help m- monitor the chat and then. Aubrey will have to do that because I'm only in the Zoom right now, so I can't see anything. Well, why don't you talk more, um, Alex? Okay, so we went back to talking about your sorting, right? Okay. Um, now, I'm curious about, okay, so do you have like a, a set structure in your, in your sort room as far as how you, yes. you know, set up things? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that. When I first started off, when I first met Moto and everybody, when I met all y'all, I was a color because I didn't have a whole lot of Lego. I mm-hmm. had maybe, you know, a sweater box of each color and that was it. Mm-hmm. And that's not bad, you know, probably about 16, 20 quarts worth. So maybe about right. three or four gallons per color. But then it got to that point where I was looking for one piece in a mock and I couldn't mm-hmm. find it. And it was so aggravating, digging and digging and digging. So right. I took a deep thought and was like, you know, I need to go component, but sort by color. Right. Now I'm going by component, putting every, right now I'm just doing component just to get everything componented out. But as I'm using the parts for building mocks and stuff, I have Ziploc bags in those component trays Mm -hmm. and they have all of them sorted by colors. And I've actually started using the thing you showed me about stacking two by fours. So I don't have to, you know, they're not all foam jumbled in a giant. You know, oh, <laughs> oh! Because I, I stack them and then put them into a container. Yeah, I've never thought about doing that. The only oh. ones I don't do that on is brown, because brown is like you have to be really easy <laughs> with it. Right, brown and also reddish brown or or yeah. um, dark red. Yeah, yeah, they're the finicky colors, <laughs> the ones that are high maintenance colors, right? The ones that. You always have to uh, give them lots of praise, otherwise they start, uh, you know, getting getting upset. Yeah, I know when I was parting out some Trade Federation ships, they had a lot of dark brown, and they became really brittle. And mm-hmm. I actually started freaking out when I was breaking them because I was like, "What did I do?" I was like, "I what didn't did put I that I much do? pressure down." I thought <laughs> I thought I was doing it. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Right. I don't know my own strength. But then Moto told me about the uh, plastics and how they mm-hmm. had like a certain kind of acid in it that broke it down. And I was like, right. oh, okay, well, that kind of makes sense because of the dyes yeah. and everything. I mean, it makes sense because like I know with red dye, you know, red dye is actually a poisonous dye if it gets right. into soil. So it kind of makes sense that certain dyes would have acidic levels and things. Mm-hmm. So, 
Oh. But yeah, um, so I went from component and now I'm at the point where I have like giant pull-out drawers and each mm-hmm. drawer is like all basic brick going from uh, two by two by, I'm trying to think on I'm having a moment. Two by two basic all the way down to two by 16. Then I have one by one all the way to one by 16. Then I have all my plates and drawers like that. I mean, I, like, here on, I'll go downstairs. Y'all can see it because nobody's actually got to see the room in live. So it'll actually oh, I was going to cool. say, yeah, you should go ahead and give us a tour. Yeah, because <laughs> no, look, let me show you. You're going to laugh. Like, you know, my studio used to be really full. Yeah. My studio is like really naked now. It's scary. Like, there's so well, much open space. Stuff. I did. I mean, I, I just wanted to be downstairs and be closer to my wife and my dogs and have AC. Okay. Because upstairs, it's really cold here right now. I've been kind of like, I know y'all probably saw like the sweat on my brow every now and then. Because I'm like, man, it, it's warm up here. But I'm going to go downstairs and show you the studio real quick. <laughs> but, um, I don't know why I can't find the purple bricks in this set. It's like it's like they're they're missing. Well, just don't say my name. Because those take a deep saw. Uh-huh. <laughs> they, were behind, they were behind my my think pad because <laughs> so, i'm no, going this can't be right there's got to be more bricks in here <laughs> but on a serious level lego has had to actually um get a here from me for the last five major sets that i've built uh-huh. and i was really shocked about that on a high level i was like man you know i went from like treehouse to ninjago city had a couple pieces missing the mm-hmm. Lantern Festival had pieces uh, missing or wrong pieces. But, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I understand during the machine, you got a bunch of machines that are running hardcore, and you got people out there pulling things out as fast as they can, trying to load them, and they're dropping pieces. So, and I can imagine it happens. So, the cool part is, though, I didn't know that. Did you know that on every piece of adhesive on your seals of your sets, mm-hmm. There's actually a code that they have that keeps the batch code. Yeah. So if something I do know that because that we discovered um, when I was working with um, um, Eric Wilkinson, we were working on the same exact set. Mine had mine had tape, his had push tabs, and it was crazy. It was kind of like, how did that happen? <clears throat> Okay, so now I can tell you. Now I'm down. It's so much cooler down here. Good Lord. All right. This is like my new sorting room. Mm -hmm. Let me move my light out of the way. But yeah, so what I've done is that like over here, what this is on top, I have all my floral components. Give me a second. There we go. I got all my floral components up here. Then over here, I got all my hinge clip plates. And then here, I started putting all my, the unique plates, like really super large slopes, like the quarter names, the super large quarter names, uh, the roundies, like the big roundy, the tops. Mm-hmm. I know I have really weird nicknames for my pieces, so forgive me for my acronyms, but I just, I just call them when I see them. And then I actually found these at like my store. We get rid of these for cosmetics right. and stuff, so I kind of hang them up here. So it's really actually awesome. So I have these hung up and these pieces. Oh, but the, the big thing that we were talking about. Yeah, I keep all of my piece pieces. Like mm-hmm. my, the basic stuff is all in these massive towers, which I know my wife was like, are you done buying towers? And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I think so. Oh, and the positive note, look, mm-hmm. no more fall. They're actually finally hung up on the wall. I've never yeah. actually owned them hung up on a wall because I've knocked these over so many times and screamed because of how many of these oh, dots yeah. and stuff I had to resort. That sounds so, painful. It is. But the only thing is that I, I don't put in pull out drawers and stuff are like the basic bricks, like the two by fours and one mm-hmm. by fours. And I've actually got them in these big old totes. They're not like big, big totes, but they're latch totes. So. And then up here, I have all my pl- my plates up here. And then I really like how I did this. 
So Brigadier Itchy Sheep says, holy crap, Batman. Alexander was able to accrue a lot in such a short time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you think about it. When I joined Tricky Bricks back in, I think, July, mm -hmm. that's when I started this whole sorting campaign. Right. I've never sorted until I started all this. So, yeah, I've done it from now till then. So I think I've done pretty good for what really time. really well. I mean, everybody is just amazed at how quickly you've been able to, you know, you, you, I mean, we're talking about uh, Aubrey's building skills, your sorting skills are up there. So it's almost like this is the, the speed sorting, speed building episode with yeah, me just interviewing both of you. <laughs> I, I am the slow sorter and the slow builder. So. I wish I knew somebody that really liked Harry Potter. Because I have like so much Harry Potter castle pieces mm -hmm. and I have no use for them in any shape or form. I'm sure <laughs> you can find a few people here. I'm sure you I can. Mean, just, I mean, there's a channel on the Discord server. I just realized I was putting brown down instead of purple. So I'm the purple. one piece I noticed that you really think you have a lot of, but you don't are these the inverted, the inverted two by twos. I, won't lie. I thought I had a lot more, but you really don't have that many until you start sorting through. Mm -hmm. Fluffers. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fluffers. <laughs> okay. Oh. I, this is not that kind of channel. So for those of you who are talking about, about that. I don't know if you heard I about it. I got to the point where I started getting crazy mess. Did you hear about what's going on on Twitch that just changed? They now have a hot no, tub what channel. They have a hot tub channel because the oh yeah, I've seen that. The um, the advertisers were getting upset because there are some streamers, you know, who do risque content. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about uh that uh that girl a more I can't even think of her name. She has a weird funky name, but I know you're talking. I only know it because she's one of the top Twitch things, so it kind of pops up every now and then on my mm -hmm. Twitch stream. I'm like, I I'm just like that's. I mean, that's just my view. I just want to see it. I'm just like, uh, oh, I don't so want. To since you're taking a tour, Alexander Debo wants to know how Castlevania is going. <sighs> um. I've actually been tearing down the walls that I had that were really bland, like the one by two by fives. I tore out a lot of those and I've been rebuilding them because Moto introduced me to a component that I didn't know about existed in Hero Factory until I started finding it myself. Uh, it's a really, really neat, like hanging toothpiece that I'm going to use for garnishments. And then when I get his Godzilla bag of garnishment, those thorn leaf gold thorn pieces that he sent me like a gallon bag of. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've I know I made a joke because he, he sent me a thing one day. He's like he's like, Oh yeah, he's like I, uh, he's like, Can I get your uh, mail address? He's like, I kinda forgot. I made a joke. I was, I was like, I was like, you know how I know you forgot? He's like, How? He's like, um I was like, because when I saw your stream with Mel, I saw the bag on the floor. <laughs> I was <not> <laughs> Oh, leaving. because he has a bag that you you had. Uh oh, yeah, is somebody leaving? I yeah, saw Brickworm's uh, leaving. Bye, Brickworm. Okay, take care, Brickworm. Thank you for the happy birthday notice. I appreciate what that. What happened was, is um, uh, Moto had this build challenge with him and a couple other people. And mm -hmm. what happened was, he needed to build something that was going to be like a spaceship deal. You know, because he's always big in spaceships. Right. And he saw the gold pieces, and he's like, Alex. He saw me in the chat, and he's like, Can I open up your bag and borrow like six of them? He's like, He's like, I know I got a whole ton of them, but I don't know where they're at. He's like, it's just an hour challenge. He's like, can I please open it? I was like, I don't care. I was like, you bought it. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> well, I isn't mean, it weird that we see Moto now on television? That it isn't, I mean, it's out of context now because there's, I, I felt bad because to me, it, it the network made him look like the absent-minded professor, you know, with the interviews and everything. I, I kind of felt bad for him because we know him as a much, you know, more three-dimensional person. <laughs> they really kind of stereotyped him, which I wasn't too happy about. I felt bad for yeah. him. I, um, I thought the show kind of, I don't know, there were certain dimensions about it 
that kind of were lacking to me. I didn't like that there wasn't enough of the builds. I wanted to have enough. I mean, I know you only have so much time in a show, but I really wanted to see a little more of um like slow brick to butterfly. I really would have liked to have seen a more in depth close view of the scenery of you know with her and the butterfly and everything. Right. Because you could see the minifigs and stuff, but when they shot the video of it, it was so fast. And even Moto said something about it. I mean he you know, of course he can't spool nothing, but he did say he was like, you know, the stuff was gonna be really, really big. And then I understand what he meant because it was really, really fast and sudden. I was like, whoa, what just happened? It was like a train wreck fast. And some of them you didn't really get to see, like uh, the Chicago, uh, New York, uh, that one. You didn't yeah, really get no, to see a nice lot of one. that one. No, it was I'm amazing. Well. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Aubrey? Like, I'm, I was just saying I was bummed they didn't show more of that one because it was so good. And they like was. freeze over it. Yeah, it was. That did there look really good. I was just like, wow. And it hurt me, though. I felt bad that, you know, that the Viking one, I just said, I mean, don't get me wrong. The dragon no, was- no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> I know. I know. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just know that's not everybody's seen it yet. So. Well, I think, Alex, you can correct me if you're if I'm wrong, but I think it just kind of like hurts when you put when you say this build is personal and you put personal stuff into it and they're like we would have liked to make it more personal and they're like oh yeah yeah i know that's what i was talking about i didn't want to go like in spool mode but i think you know what i'm talking about where if they had added an extra couple of sentences it felt like they probably would have and you're just they they could have added maybe some minifigs or something I think that's, yeah, I think that's their what figs they were, were getting at. Remember, the figs were custom built, though. But I understand that. It, you are right, because that's the one thing that I will say that I like about you, Brick and Easta, is that you always incorporate yourself into your story and into your mock. And that's one thing that I see a lot of um, builders. I, I embrace they, they being in the stores. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't embrace themselves into their own mock they kind of leave themselves outside of it like a third a third person kind of omnipotent mentality and it's really awesome when somebody does that because you know people like you Rick and Easty, you know you would be the ones that would if they did like a master and they dropped that on y'all you would do a quick and easy limit squeezy and you wouldn't even have to think about it i know some of them would like be derailed because the creativity train just you know hits them but you know there's some people like you i've seen you pull out crazy stuff out of randomness well thank you i i'm uh you know it's interesting because i don't really i mean i guess maybe we're always comparing ourselves to other people that you know and when i look at my skills versus like aubrey just like flew past all of us right when it came to building it's kind of like have you ever entered a speed building challenge at a con because you should you really should because i i know that um, I think the difference for me when I build is like you were saying, Alex, it's kind of like, what does this mean to me? And like the pandas, right? <laughs> Who else would put pandas going camping besides somebody like me? Right. And, exactly. and, I, and I, I appreciate you saying that. So thank you. That, that means a lot. But, um, because if, you know, like if it weren't for people like you, and a lot, and, um, the person that used to do Mr. Snow Cream, like, and all, like, all, and all of the other really amazing characters that we had on Tricky Bricks in the beginning of the series and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, if it hadn't been for all y'all, I probably would never build Squeaky Squad. Because I mean, I know I, was, I miss Squeaky Squad. Yeah, I've been working on it on my world builder. I've been mm-hmm. just taking some time and writing down plot and story, and you know, I'm getting to the point where, um, like. You know, my Gina the guinea pig, you know, I'm finally getting to a plot twist where she's going to have a redemption moment where it's going to be whether she's going to actually finally throw the evil side and go back to the squeaky squad or right. is she going to like do something more horrendous. So, yeah, no I, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, I know. Well, I think for those of you who don't know what um, Alexander 23 is talking about is the Tongle world builder is where you can put your stories that you're building with regard to Lego characters. And, and I think that's something that um, we were doing for a while on Tricky Bricks, but then there was a shift 
which is fine. I mean, it's their show. That's what they want to do. But I think some of us were, were like going, okay, where do we, where do we go now? Where, where do we take this creative outlet of ours? And, and so that's the place now we, we're going. And since you mentioned that you're far ahead of me on getting your stories out there. Cause I'm, I've been, I've been, I guess, <laughs> streaming when you stream three hours a day, six times a week, it, it does, uh, it does take a toll. Well, mine usually comes when I'm sitting at work mm -hmm. and I'll literally just kind of be zoned out and I'll be staring out the window sometimes. And I'm like thinking about my random minifig. Like I know my wife's like, she's like, I notice all you do is think and dream and eat about Lego. She's like, I've never met nobody that does it that much. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, I can't help it. I was like, when I zone out, I'm literally thinking about squeaky squad and one of their adventures and, how I can you know, add new the characters. And when I see the new minifigs from Friends, I get so excited. It's funny because I used to really not be a super Friends person. Right. But now that I've become a squeaky squad person, you know, it's kind of like a one, hand, one in both hand. You have to you have to go down that rabbit hole if you really want to get really awesome figs. Right. That's true. Especially the elephants, the, the new, the blue elephants they had from the, uh, the rescue in the jungle. They oh, were all. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have the elephant right here actually. So here's the, uh, <laughs> here's the elephant. Now oh, that's awesome. we missed our discussion about how, um, we were, we were talking about that. They don't really talk about like conservation, which would have been nice if they would have talked about how, you know, we, um, they, they had a, a huge opportunity with this jungle series to talk about conservation and how, you know, we could be saving animals and some of the things that they we did. could be doing, but they, they missed I, I felt like it was kind of left kind of open. Yeah, they missed like, it. you know, it's kind of like that deal. It's kind of like that deal where you kind of feel like you went to a symposium with a bunch of stale donuts and coffee and there's only about eight or 10 people show up. It kind of felt like that to some degree. Eight or I mean, ten it people didn't, didn't feel like it really reached the whole. You have the best. I mean, analogy. it just didn't feel like it really reached the people. Well, I mean, it's just I see it as it is. I guess it's me being southern. I have like really weird analogies for stuff, but you know, I just I just call it as it is. You know, but I'm gonna tell you then with Lego with the Lego friends. See, like uh -huh. right here in my drawer, I know if I didn't have them, I wouldn't have all these animals. And I love the animals to death. You have an amazing collection of animals. Oh my goodness! There's, there's some that I've never seen. I know. Um, I know I'm going to be sending you one of these because you don't have one of these. Oh, the parrot. I yeah. might actually. Did that come in that um twelve uh twelve in one set? I Let me check. I, I will have to check because I'm I might actually have that one. I've only seen this one. In the original classic sets from like 94, 95, like the old style ones, because it's the is literally the red one with the green under part with the like orangish yellow, like the flame orange McCall wing top. Mm -hmm. Now, I won't lie, the Barracuda Bay one was really trippy, how it had like the blue, the blue and yellow, like I don't even know how to find what it would look. It was like tie dye twisty. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this next level and then we're going to spin the wheel again. <laughs> because I, I feel bad if, if people are waiting on me to finish. So I'm going to spin that wheel. With spin that wheel. So I'm going to finish this layer. I'm looking for a one by one in black. There they are. I was going to say, I know that they're here. Step one, rescue animal. <laughs> Step three, profit. <laughs> so, okay i i'll just go ahead and say it because i've said it on my channel before is that okay these friends are out there rescuing animals but they never say where they take them and why <laughs> so, so <laughs> we are talking about that in fact i think debo you're working on a scenario right <laughs> Is that it going to be like some Tiger King level? Because it is a questionable thing. Because you are sitting there, left there, going, "What are they doing with what all of? Are they it doing?" Doesn't make you think animal. about it. I, know. I, I mean, I hate to say that, but I thought about it one day. I was like, you know, these 
you know, I think it was Debo. I was listening to one of his channels and he was talking about all the friends and I'm like, what are they doing with all the animals? It's like, you know, is he doing like Dr. Robotnik from Sonic? Is he just stealing them all so we can put them in a giant container to right. make them into monsters or something? Or like, what's the deal? Oh, Rick Brickham just showed up. Hey, Rick, how's it going? <laughs> so Aubrey has already finished this model. I'm just slow. <laughs> I'm still working through this. So you can see she's got it all beautiful over there. And so what I was going to do is I'm at a stopping point. So I'm going to spin the wheel again because we have more prizes here. We have more prizes. But, um, but to finish your point, Alexander23, is that Debo and I and a couple others on the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network, we were talking about how um, all the animals that are being saved are also kind of like rare animals, <laughs> like baby elephants, they white are. tigers llamas and we're going why what are they doing with these animals once they rescue them and put them in the rescue compound so yeah so we're we're uh, doing some investigative reporting i think that's what we're doing and i dropped a purple so i i may not be able to finish this because i dropped one of the purple two by threes and i don't see it so okay well, let's go ahead and spin for some prizes, shall we? I think uh, Brickworm left, Lena showed up, so did Zach Martinez. And okay, so let me tell you what the next prize is. We just did a couple bundles and okay. So the next one is this, you may remember this gift with purchase, the ice skating rink. If you love splat gears, this is an amazing parts pack for splat gears. So yeah, rescue, <laughs> like quote unquote. <laughs> I think we're gonna start a trend now, now that we're talking about this. <laughs> okay, so let me go back and I'm gonna share, let me go share my screen so we can take a look and share screen. Okay. All right, so we are gonna put here, okay, so Debo, G-O-W, Grasshopper, Deneen just left, Brigadier Itchy Sheep is still here, is Robin Eklund still here? How about, let's see, we need to put Rick Brickham and Lena Suarez. Who else, anybody else? Brothers from another brick. B fab, even though he keeps saying, I don't like getting into these. Save the Lego animals. <laughs> That's right. We're um, going to start a movement. <laughs> That's right. I don't know. That might, I, I might get myself in trouble for just starting this whole thread of, you know, what, what are they doing with the Lego animals? <laughs> right. hey, for you all, for all you know, you'll start seeing like Carol Baskins <laughs> and Joe Exotic like farms of like people with exotic animals and stuff it will Did go really see, uh, Zach Martinez's comment he goes tonight on hard copy lego friends exposed <laughs> <laughs> um Brickisa, oh, on that note, before you start to spin i'm actually yeah. about to head out myself because i gotta call it early okay um, well, i know you're three hours ahead so thank you so much thank you for being on my stream i appreciate it no and, i really have, i've enjoyed hanging out with you and aubrey i know yeah. I, like, I'll probably talk y'all to death i know when y'all will probably leave y'all gonna be like oh, no God, no yeah. you're amazing i'm so glad <laughs> you came on my show and like i said um, thank you for the tour of your lego space too that was really good to see did he just freeze well, oh uh -oh. thank you here we go Okay, you're back. Yeah, you, you froze for a second there. Yeah, so, it's all good. I know I'm getting down to low battery, too. My phone's down to like 6% battery, so that's the other reason why I'm about to call it. Okay, I just realized I need to add Zach Martinez on here, too. Thank you, Alex. So, well, take care. Yeah.
Thank you all have so a much. fantastic night, like the awesome set that, that you're getting to finish building. And keep <laughs> going. Do like Jake Stud says. Just keep pushing onward. Don't let the chaos. Don't let the chaos beat you down. Yeah, no, I'm not. I, I just, I just want to be mindful of people's time, though, too. So no, I, I will you. stay and finish this. So if anybody still wants to keep me in the background and lurk and just keep building and doing whatever you want to do, but I did. I, have, I have two more, two more big prizes. So. So we're going to do this one next. And then I said the big prize. This is the big prize. So this is the big prize. This is this uh, race boat transporter. Nice. So, yeah. So I. Cool. I Y'all have a nice cool. night and happy birthday to you, Rick and Easton. And I can't Thank wait you. to see. I can't wait to see, you know, the excitement when you actually get to get the bull holes and the, and the. And I will put them to good use. You know I will. I want to. I can't yeah. wait to see the Batman boat. Like I think I'm gonna send you those Batman parts too, because I ain't got no use for Batman parts. Oh so. wow! Well, now I have Batman in a speedo. <laughs> exactly, How and it's cool, cool because that? I think I have like the speed wagon the parts. Yeah. Yeah, I um, think I have like the speed wagon boat parts, mm -hmm. so that'll even work out even better. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so right. much. Y'all well, take it easy, and y'all have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Alex. That was so cool. And I see that technician 0990 just arrived. Hello. Or maybe you've been here and I just didn't see you. So yes, this is the real birthday stream. Actually, we had one at midnight today. Uh, this today. It started at nine o'clock and then that was amazing. I mean, everything's been amazing. So thank you so much everyone for all the good wishes. And yeah, and I did get, Lena, you missed this, but I got Batman in a Speedo as my um, minifig. So for those of you who missed it, if you get a chance to sign up, you have only a few more days, but I will show you in this little, little uh, CMF, I got the Batman in a Speedo, <laughs> so, but let's spin the wheel first. So the, the person who's going to get this, the uh, ice skating rink. So you can save it for Christmas or you can just part it out. Did I get everybody on the list? I think I did. Okay, we're going to spin that wheel. Here we go. And... <laughs> it's brother from another brick <laughs> and i know he hates he hates uh putting his name in for drawings like this but too bad you won <laughs> i'm gonna send this to you you can give it away to somebody else if you like but um uh, thank you bfab for joining in and being a part of this as well as everybody else so Okay, so let me stop sharing this. And for those of you who missed the earlier part of the show, and where did I put it? Uh, I put Batman in the Speedo over here. <laughs> so, all right. So for those of you who missed it, that when you register for the Brick by the Bay, they give you a CMF. And Aubrey got the Flower Girl. And then I opened this and I said, what do you bet? It's either Batman, Harley Quinn, or Robin. And uh, so she's got the flower girl right there. And you're going to have to make a mock from that. And then her husband got the birthday boy. And then I got, <laughs> which was kind of eerie and appropriate, is I got Batman in the Speedo. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know that, I've got, and it's funny because the torso, you can see there's printing on the back for the torso too. So he's got a six pack in the front and then he's got also the, the back has got some detail. <laughs> so, so anyway, sign up for what? Bricks by the Bay. So Bricks by the Bay and here's a close up. The other thing about this CMF is it has the stand with the the bat signal emblem. But I just thought it was hilarious that of all the minifigs they could have sent me, unless they felt, you know, I, I'll ask if it was totally random, 
or if they deliberately put that one in there for me. Because <laughs> you can feel the bags and you can probably tell. When I talked to the brick can people, they said it was totally random. So for me to get the pirate captain from brick can was pretty crazy. And now I got, you know, <laughs> Batman in a Speedo on my birthday. I mean, that's kind of cool. So, so for those of you, um, Brick Literacy, I just signed up. I think I said the deadline's the fifth. Yeah, yeah, you're you're just in time because I think it is today or tomorrow in order for you to get it in time for the con. So Brickham's Den's idea is one of the strongest lines out there uh, at the moment. Uh, what, did, what did Brickham's Den say? The moment into the idea set, so focusing on that right now. Uh, let's see what, what I'm, I'm sorry. I missed something here. Let me take a look. Picked up some friend sets for the kiddos. I have a few, uh, star Wars sets and a bunch of other ran random sets. Okay. All right. I'm not sure what they're just what talking about how BFAB has a bunch of, um, unopened sets that he hasn't. Built. Oh, okay. And so they're talking about what kind of sets they have. <laughs> I thought it, he was talking about that he was going to do an idea set. So I see you're going to open an idea set that you're not filing an idea set. So for those of you speaking of idea sets, if you haven't already voted, vote for my Corgi, number one, and then vote for Debo's uh, Nautilus from the idea set. So we're both in the ideas program and trying to get our, our mocks uh, registered and acknowledged. So hopefully that'll happen someday soon. That's that's the hope. Brigadier Itchy Sheep, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you, I'll have one more giveaway. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this in time. <laughs> now that I, I know the pattern, I'll be able to, to get this done a little more quickly. So the other thing, um, if you haven't been following the um, Rebrick This Challenge, that's something Debo and I have been sponsoring. And the Rebrick This Challenge, we were just talking about JK Brickworks. He just did his own Rebrick and he put it onto his, his YouTube page and it's the same set that we're using. So I was even thinking it might be worthwhile seeing if he'd like to come on our show. That would be cool. That's great. I'll go check them out. You got an idea on, on there as well. Oh yeah, I didn't know you had one. So yeah, so tell us about your idea since I did not know about it. <laughs> go ahead and put that in the chat. Yeah, we, we're, um, like I said, this has been a chill and chat stream. I haven't done a lot with just, you know, building. This is, I think, one of the first times that I've just done, um, like, where we're building other things. So what are you working on now, uh, Aubrey, since uh, <laughs> we're, we're now doing some more building? Keeping my mic off because I accepted the challenge of trying to build something in a bag. Oh, okay, cool. But so this bag, I think I chose the wrong bag because it only has, like, this strip of where you can see. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's been loud, but I got I got Raya built. Oh, nice. Like I said, you're going to crush it when you go to a con. You need to you practice. Will. I've never done building in a bag before. Yeah, so. but I mean, just the, how fast you are and also, um, you know, when, when you show up and being able to build as quickly and doing the uh, build in a bag, you're, you're going <laughs> to gonna leave the competition behind. And for those of you who missed it, on Boonstream, where he did a trivia contest, Aubrey crushed it there, too. I, I don't know how. That one was lucky. I don't know trivia very well. Well, she got all of the questions right, and she got them done quicker so going back to, you know, speed, she's, she's fast. So she, yeah, she pretty much, uh, I think, did you get some sort of award for that too? Um, it was a video fig. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The bunny. Yeah. Cause I remember, um, <laughs> what was it? 
um, Brix O'Brien, how he was going. So let me get this straight. Whoever wins this gets a bunny. <laughs> his, his sense of humor just kills me. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm getting close, folks. I'm getting close. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I can see the end in sight. And sorry, um, I'm, I'm a slower builder, but. <laughs> you don't need to be sorry. Sometimes building slow is awesome. Well, and I, it goes back to, like you said, I'm also streaming and building and trying to engage the audience all at the same time. People don't realize how much effort that is. It does take a lot of effort. So I, I am trying to cut myself some slack, but I think we're always our own worst critic too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, I think I've got, like I said, I'm close to the end. Aud I mean, Aubrey is a speedster superhero in disguise. I agree. I agree. I think, I think people underestimate the power of Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey can definitely take on pretty much pretty much any AFOL out there. You guys are too kind. I don't know about that. Oh, remember I said I dropped that two by three? Yeah. So that's part of the problem is I got to find that two by three. <laughs> it fell on the floor somewhere. Oh, gee. Oh boy. If you hear the chaos, it's because it is chaotic here. So I may not be able to finish this if I can't find that two by three, because I don't think I have a two by three in purple. Let's see. And of course, what will probably happen is I'll find it once the stream is over. Okay, so mental note, I will need to, for my birthday, clean up this place. <laughs> all right, so I have all of this except for the purple two by three because I dropped it. And I'm going to keep building with the hopes I can find this two by three sometime soon. If not, let me just check. I'm going to just check to see if I have one. Normally, I don't have to go into my stash, but as they say, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I do not have one in purple. So I may be SOL. <laughs> But for those of you who've been following me, some other good news is I also got the bricks finally from Chicago. They finally arrived. So I do have those so I can finish that mock. Okay. All right. So once again, chaos ensues. Okay. Excuse me, folks. A lot of crinkling going on, but I'm getting some of it. Yeah. And Raya's in here somewhere. Still trying to keep hope that I can find this two by three. It's such a bummer, but that's okay. You have a finished one, so I can just say, look at Aubrey's. We'll highlight Aubrey's instead. Yeah. I'd give you some extra parts if we were close. You need to have the like screen. Or is the two by threes? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about your collection. What kind of collection do you have? 
Um, everything. Well, um, if you haven't seen Aubrey's setup, she has an amazing set of IKEA drawers. I table space. I'm gonna let you guys in on the mess because it's an absolute disaster right now. But I'll show you some of it. <laughs> well, it can't can't be any more of a disaster than what I have over here. This is actually a box of Belleville that my bricks and oh. gave me for free. That was oh. fun. And then, yeah, all nice. those go right down. And then still looking for shelves to put right there. Mm -hmm. Those brackets that they're on have been sold out forever. So do you go to Ikea a lot? Um, probably more than the regular person, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my kids really like it. Um, so it's fun. It's something that's fun for them. And um, we usually need stuff from there. So I'm just making a real mess of this. I just spilled my bag over here again. <laughs> so I'm just like, I've got parts all over the place. So I'm really glad you built it. Because um, I, I honestly, it's kind of like, what is going on, Birkinista? The W Grasshopper said that he saw or they saw the um, brick by your mini figs. Is it by your mini figs? The two by three? You saw yeah. the, oh, you, you're talking about this one? This is a one by two. I'm, I'm looking for the two by three and it fell over the, uh, the table. I'm pretty sure it fell over the table. I do have the Ikea boxes. I was um, lucky enough to be able to find those when they came out. Let me just ask again. So let me just ask, did you say you saw the two by three purple over here by these minis? That's what um, G-O-W Grasshopper said in the chat. I saw the purple two by three by the minifigs like an hour ago. Yeah, it, that was an hour ago. I'm pretty sure I had it in my hand and then it, it fell out of my hand and it was like went over there. So yeah, and I just dropped like two out of the bag over here and I'm not sure which ones those are. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna play this by ear. <laughs> we'll see how far I get. But yeah, the two by three, like I said, I, I think it's over here somewhere because I, I swear it was like in my hand and I think it dropped over there and I said, oh no, which is one of the things I say a lot on the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network. <laughs> you hear me say, oh no, a lot. I'm going to put this here just as a I placeholder. Bricks a lot. Um, I don't think the Big Life boxes are available again. I know some stores have had them here and there. Um, but they've been pretty hard to find since they first were released. Yeah, I, I think that um, as I've been building and seeing other people's set up, it's almost like, um, you know, that TV show, um, The Lives of the Rich and Famous? <laughs> you know how, how it's kind of like you see somebody with all these drawers and you just think someday someday my setup will be like that robin leach and here are the lives of the rich and famous <laughs> we just moved yeah. into this house last year so that was a big um bonus of this house was this room because oh, in our I last bet. house well you also have three kids too so it's yeah. nice to have a big space for them yeah, so we have a little bit of everything. And uh, like I was saying, in our last house, our Lego room was um, our living room as well, so. Yeah, my living room is my Lego room. Yeah. And then my breakfast nook is my green screen room. <laughs> so my bedroom and my kitchen, I think, are the only places where the only time Lego is in there, I take that back. I just moved my city into the into the bedroom, so uh, so now my bedroom also has Lego in there because I just don't have the table space. I had the I had a table in my in my bedroom, so I said, okay, I'm going to put it there. 
I guess that isn't so bad though to have Lego in the bedroom. <laughs> What does that say about me? Yeah. It says the best things about you. That's the best thing about me? Yeah. The best, <laughs> the best. about you. Well, and, and it's funny because I was uh, mentioning about how we have so many great people in this community. And champagne wishes and caviar dreams. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> okay, Tifa. <laughs> well, we were talking last night about this community that we have and, um, you know, Matthew Builds Bricks and his mom, Sally, they were on and they were just talking about how it's just been so great having this community of people that, um, especially during this pandemic and how we're really helping each other out. And I know that you, Aubrey, and, you know, other people that... I've gotten to know as friends, it just, it's, it has me meant a lot to me, just knowing that we have this group of people that we can, we can share this hobby and also, you know, just some of our, our joy around it too. Okay. So now I do have a feeling because I, I'm missing a two by three and this would go on the two by three right there. And I'm missing a one by two green. Oh, wait a minute. Is this it? No, that's not it. And as much as I usually don't like to go into my own stash, I think I might have to because I literally dropped things while I was building, which I hate, hate, hate because I try to be good about it. And it just, it's just been chaos. It's been chaos. And chaos sometimes brings brings that kind of kind of luck i'm close though i'm not too far off my life is chaos your life is chaos all the time and it's like the two by three purple and i keep looking i keep looking hoping i'll find it but i did find one of the pieces i dropped which is the one by two green so that goes there so that i know we're okay there but Adam said it's not the purple piece on the green round plate back farther. The green brown plate back. Round. Farther. Okay, I'm going to put my hand right here. <laughs> Tell me where to move my hand. I don't know. This is, is Robin that said that. Robin, Robin Eklund. It's not the purple piece on the green round plate farther. The green round plate, this one. Like I said, I, I think it's over here, but maybe you're right. Maybe I dropped it on this side. There's a guy who follows me on Twitch. His name is Mr. Mittens and he has eagle eyes and he, he can spot something it's chaos, yo. <laughs> yes, it is. It is chaos, yo. Thank you. Monica Berry said she will not allow Lego in the bedroom of their house. He, yeah, I said that to myself too, but I got to a point where there was no other place to put it. And the kitchen, I only use the kitchen and I put Lego in there when I have to take photos because that's the best lighting that I have. But it's... Um, yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out what this Robin Eklund, <laughs> Eklund, Robin Eklund, forward. I saw it. Early. Okay, I'm right here. Here's my hand. So move my hand. Pretend I'm a video game. Do I move my hand left? Or do I move my hand right? <laughs> forward or back? Because this is a one by two, which goes over the two by three, which would go right here. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Well, while, while you're deciding to move my hand, <laughs> where, where do I move my hand? I'm going to take a look at what we have next. Okay. So we have this piece. I can, I can put some of these pieces down and like I said, 
you have really off colors that you could put as a placeholder so that when you do find it, you know exactly where to put it. Probably put a maybe a two by three in brown. Yeah. For the, for the, the, um, that. Yeah. I know I'm bummed because I usually try to be pretty good about it, but I get so excited, you know, I just, I can't help myself. <laughs> You have cases of mixels in your bedroom. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and you know, I mean, you, everybody knows I'm single, so it's kind of like, yeah, I've got to, I got to be careful about what I keep in the bedroom. <laughs> it's like, I gotta say, you know, I don't want to scare anybody off, right? Or maybe they'll think it's cool. I mean, who knows? But, yeah. And I haven't, um, I'll be honest, here's a confession. So <laughs> I have this light fixture, which has been hanging from my ceiling. And that's because I was trying to change the light bulb. But I haven't put in the work order yet, because I'm too embarrassed with the way <laughs> my apartment looks at the moment. So I'm, I'm going this weekend to clear it out enough. So then that way, it's can be decently you know, presented. Isn't that silly? Because, you know, I'm, I'm like worried about, you know, what will the, what will the workmen think about my chaos you know, in my apartment? Not that it should matter, but I just think it's kind of funny thinking about it that way. All right. So yeah, you're right. If I put a two by three placeholder in of some color that's close to it, it that, that should work. You bought these number one trays from Daiso where I pour the bricks in the bags and the set I build. Yeah, I might have to rethink my whole setup. So brothers from another brick is laughing. Are you laughing at me because I'm worried about the, the workmen? <laughs> is that what, what you're laughing at? Yeah. I guess that that was a confession. That was a confession. It was like some of my my deepest, darkest anxieties I'm sharing with you, and you're laughing at me. Look at that. <laughs> BFAB knows that I'm just joking. But yeah, I think it's interesting because um, you know how uh, people will have um, maid service, you know, for their homes. And then right before the maid comes over, they like clean up their whole house. <laughs> so they're worried about what the maid's going to think. It's going to like, you kind of paid for them to clean up after you. So I feel like that's something that I would do. Is clean up before the people clean come. I I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I just said, I feel like that's something that I would probably do is clean up before the people who yeah, clean before, before the maids show up. Right. It's kind of like, well, I don't want them to see this. Yeah. Which is kind of like, if you're going to do that, why don't you just clean? <laughs> you know, it's like, they may laugh and then get to work. And I bought a bunch of yellow top Tupperware from Ikea that separate my bags. And if they were um, $1 for three, you're, you're really good at finding deals, BFAB. That's for sure. Okay, so I think you're right. Aubrey, I think I'm just going to have to find a color close enough to purple, a two by three, oops, that I can put in there. But overall, it's a really beautiful set. Very, very nice set. So I have to get a two by three and then, oh no, am I missing a blue as well? Oh, how can I be missing the blue? I hope that's not one of the pieces that I, I may have lost on the floor. Aha, uh -huh. it was on the floor. Okay, I think I'm recovering. If I could just find that, that purple piece then I'd be set, but okay. All right, I'm gonna follow Aubrey's advice. We're gonna, we're gonna find a piece, uh-oh. Did I get myself in too deep here? Because there's that cross piece. All right, I think that, I think I could still get a piece under there, yeah. 
Okay, let me find a two by three in brown or some some other some other color dark enough. I think this black will work. I don't know if it's a Lego light up piece. Okay, I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. Okay, I'm going to put this here. And then when I find the, the purple, I'll recover. <laughs> Debo, Debo said, how many brick anistas does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> <laughs> So they said, I don't know. Too it's many. Like a light up piece. It, it, it's not the light bulb. <laughs> it's the fixture. The whole fixture is like hanging off the, the ceiling. And it's like one of those old time ones. So it's got like two screws that are holding the fixture together, but the screws are off. I could probably fix it myself, I know. But here, here's how, how deep the, um, the insanity goes. So I was thinking, oh, what if I put everything in the bedroom and it's out of the way, they'll come fix everything, then I'll move it back. But okay, that's probably a good plan. But then I thought, oh crap, it's a light fixture, which means they're gonna have to probably go in and take care of the, um, what is it? The uh, fuse box. They have to turn the turn the the uh, you know turn the power uh, breaker off, and then, then they'd have to go into the bedroom because that's where the power breaker is. So I'm like, all right, I gotta I gotta figure out how am how am I gonna do this? I might have to just fix it myself, which I've done before. I can fix a light fixture. I know how to do that. I have the skills. Okay, so I'm missing, I'm missing a brown and a red one by two. For some reason, I have an extra one of these. Did I forget to put it in the back? No, no. Okay, and I'm missing a tile. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing all these pieces. Makes no sense. In fact, I think I might be, because it's like four tiles, four tiles that I'm missing. And I'm just looking around to see if I put them in the wrong place, but okay. I think once again, I just got so excited opening <clears throat> bags, tossing things around that I may have lost more pieces than I had originally thought. My husband got home and he's building it way different than I did. He sorted all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put my characters here. He sorted it. I just went for the chaos way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're still fast, though. Hi, Cole. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I will have to find these pieces, but somehow I ended up with an extra one by two in orange. Not sure how that happened. And then I'm missing four tiles and a two by three purple brick. And this got moved the wrong way. This needs to go here. Yeah, I'm like all over the place. So who knows? I will try to recover from some of the things that I have. So mental note, folks. Okay. There we go. They are beautiful figs. I will say that definitely beautiful figs. I think you also have to put these down in a certain order. It seems like they butt into each other. They're kind of close. I did it from the pink from one. The back to the front. Yeah, I did it from the pink one to the yeah. front. And then I kind of had to like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but like all of these arms are forward. 
And mm -hmm. then his arms are a little bit I'm back. Yeah, I could see that. I do like all the different hairstyles. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I really, I really liked all the different hair. Yeah, it's a beautiful set. Yeah, I've, I've got like all kinds of weird pieces. Like I see this brown one by two. Like I got a brown one by two plate. <laughs> it's like, why? 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 There's two of them in each color. Of the plates? Yeah. Because one goes... One goes on for the mini fig. At the and bottom. then the other one goes um, on, like, under the arch piece. Mm -hmm. That's where the two of each color comes from. Okay, I'm going to see my collection of one by two plates. But don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> where where you have mass chaos going on. Okay, because I think I have some of these colors. Yeah. But the purple two by three, that was a bummer, losing that. Polluting you? Yeah, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna have to wait. So I will, I will find it when the stream's over, I'm sure. Hi, Brickham's done. See you. Oh, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like normally all your pieces are there, but because I have been, you know, moving things around, for some reason I have a one by two in orange and a one by two in brown here. Um, <laughs> do it the way Aubrey did. Don't do it the way I did. And I think next time, what I usually do is I usually don't build a set in my build area. I normally do it in my green screen room. So I think that was also a difference too. And I was just thinking, I thought I had a brown over here. I have I have this purple is a one by one. I may be able to build the purple up. And this this red drives me crazy because you see that is that magenta color, so it's not quite red. But I don't see just a plain red in here. Okay. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm so glad Aubrey was building with me because hers looks a lot better. Okay. That's why I need two, all the hair. Oh, okay. All the hair. And also I should have gotten two. So then that way I'd have all the pieces. So <laughs> that way I wouldn't have had to. Because this is mine, which is close, but I will point out the flaws. So I've got, this is a black instead of the purple, which is kind of hidden if I really tell him. put it in the right way. I'm missing a one by two in purple and I'm missing a one by two in brown and the one by two in red, but I kind of hidden that with this kind of magenta color. But it's still a great set. Even with the mistakes that I made, it's still a great set. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I should have gotten two just so then I would have had all the parts. Okay. Sure, you'll find them. I'm sure they will show up, but I won't belabor that. But I will do one more because we're at the very end. I will do one more raffle. So, <laughs> and thank you everybody for hanging out with me on my stream. This has been awesome. Thank you, Aubrey, especially for keeping me company and hanging out and for showing everybody your amazing building skills. <laughs> and the other thing, I'll have to have her come back because she also is an expert in elves. Oh, but we're going to wait until after we hear from Wes, 
Talbot, right? Is that who's coming on to Tricky Brick? So we'll wait until after Wes Talbot shows up and we'll have Aubrey come back. The baby elephant ate, <laughs> ate the parts. Actually, the baby elephant's purple or blue. We should put the baby elephant here. That's what I probably should do is I should put a tribute to the endangered friends animals. <laughs> we'll have the baby elephant, the white tigers, all the different colored llamas and put them into the set. That, that would be kind of funny. So anyway, okay, so let's go back and let's go spin the wheel. We have, like I said, this other set, the Lego transporter set. So we will be giving that away next. All right, so let me go back and share my screen with this wheel. And I think I missed Remy last time. Is Remy still here? Is Brick Literacy still here? Every piece is awesome. <laughs> yeah, even the missing pieces, every piece is awesome. I like that. Okay, so BFAB won last time, so we can take him off the wheel. And let's see, let's put Brick Literacy on here. Who else? Let's see. Save the coral sloth. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so let me just make sure I've got people on the wheel. Debo, GOW Grasshopper, Brickadier, Itchy Sheep, Robin, Cornado, Fabby Fan, Cole, Aubrey, Rick Brickham, Lena, Zach, Technician 0990, and Brick Literacy. Am, am I missing anybody? Because this is the big prize. If you haven't heard your name, this is the time to speak up. Okay, I think we got it all. Okay. Are you ready for this? We're gonna do the we're gonna do the music too. We're gonna go da 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 It's Robin Eklund. Yes, Robin Eklund. Congratulations. So send me your mailing address through Instagram. Congratulations, and thank you for participating in the Brickanista. Um, this Everyone is Awesome set build, which was almost done correctly by me, but definitely <laughs> done correctly by, by uh, Aubrey. My little baby elephant just fell, if you're wondering what that was. But we were just talking about that baby elephant actually fits perfectly in that, in that blue color. So anyway, congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much. Let me close this and let me stop sharing the screen. And I'm going to stop my down camera for now. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So anyway, thanks again. Awesome, awesome set. I'm going to hold it like this. <laughs> and that white covers up. And let me see if I angle this right, you won't see the purple problem. But anyway, so congratulations. We did this, the Everyone is Awesome set. And Aubrey, you're amazing. So glad you were here for this. <laughs> that way everybody can see what the set is supposed to look like. And and also she built inside the bag, the Raya set too. I almost, I almost got it done. I have this bottom piece with this globe right here to do. But Raya's oh, okay. built and all of this top is built but you're close like, like hard to tell because there's then that one strip right there we opened up the box with the um all of the swag for the bricks by the bay so if you haven't signed up yet and you liked what was in the box you might want to sign up really soon because <laughs> i think you have either today or tomorrow to make sure that the box arrives in time yeah, and it's a good one if, if you haven't done your campfire mock yet, you still have time to put together your campfire mock for the collab. We have a Tricky Bricks meeting tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Send an email to trickylug at gmail.com to get all the contact information if you're not aware of it. And what else? Oh, um, if you wanna participate in the bunker collab, the um, dystopia bunker, um, a dream bunker, um, I think I've posted the information. If not, I'll go post it into the uh, build area on Discord. And uh, I know myself, Matthew Builds Bricks, I think Bubs and Lava Bed are all participating in that. So everybody's welcome to participate in that too. 
So anyway, so take care, everybody. It's been awesome. Really appreciate you, Aubrey, and for everybody here in the in our little family. It's been great. And thank you for all the great birthday wishes. Thank you, Debo, for your your uh, sweet little <laughs> R2 Debo. And <laughs> now we've got that in the family. And for everybody who's been just sending me really nice notes and and I, I just really appreciate it. It just means so much to me. So thank you again. And as they say on the Brickanista Broadcast Network, may the clutch be with you and take care. Thank you so much, Naomi.